forecast. Hey, no matter what color you're going to wear, let's get that heavy sweatshirt on this morning. By noon, because of the winds we have kicking up, you might need that heavier coat and hat. And as we get into the overnight hours and especially into tomorrow morning, you're going to need the rain gear. We've got rain moving in. Fifth Third Bank Cam in downtown Toledo showing you that cloud cover that's hanging with us in Michigan and Ohio. We've been in the mid 30s all morning long, and that's where we'll stay even as we get throughout our daytime high, close to 40, but won't quite make it. There you can see we are under that cloud cover right now. And for our big game, the rivalry forecast by noon, that temperature right there hovering just below 40 degrees with cloudy skies will stay cloudy through most of the game itself. Could see a few sprinkles by the time we get to the end. And that rain coming your way overnight. Make it a great day. Welcome to Christmas at Nature's Corner. You'll capture all the traditions of the season. Our shops are full of unique treasures for everyone on your list. Beautiful Christmas decor, gifts for the nature lover, and gifts that keep on giving all year long, like wind chimes, bird items, and garden decor. Step inside our cozy greenhouse and you'll see why people say there's no other shop like Nature's Corner. From our families to yours. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! We have beautiful live potted evergreens from blue spruce to the green holly. So come out and see us at Nature's Corner. Everyone knows about Stotzenberger College's veterinary technician and medical assistant programs, but do you know about our exciting online classes in animal care, business, medical, and paralegal, which could lead to a job where you work from home? For many of our campus programs, you take your core classes in 10 months with the option of getting an associate's degree by taking additional classes online while you work. Our college's number one goal is to help you find a job that starts your career. Many of our programs start every five weeks. Go to sctoday.edu or call 888-859-8225. There is no bigger rivalry in sports. The team, the team, the team. There is so much on the line. Ohio State is number one in the country. Michigan is looking for revenge. This is the 116th meeting between Michigan and Ohio State. There's no mystery throughout the country that it's the biggest rivalry in all sports. This is... This is the biggest game of the year. This is the rivalry, and it starts right now. The Buckeyes. The Wolverines, one of college football's greatest rivalries. From Ann Arbor, PNC presents The Rivalry. Good morning from Ann Arbor. We are live just outside of the big house. It is Michigan. It is Ohio State. This is the rivalry. I am Jordan Strack. We have a lot to get to over the next three hours as we get you set for the big game coming up over on Fox 36 at noon. But stick with us for the next three hours. You'll see the countdown clock on the bottom of your screen. That will lead you up to kickoff for this huge game. The Buckeyes, a nine point favorite. Of course, they have won seven straight and 14 out of the last 15 against Michigan. There is no question it has been dominating for the Buckeyes against their rivals from here in Ann Arbor. It should be a fun morning and we have a ton of people getting you through the next few hours. Let's take a look at the team that we've got working on this thing. We have Dan Cummins and Kelly Hybrider back at the studio in downtown Toledo. We've got Tyler Paley out with the tailgaters and we've got Christy Copanis with us up here in Ann Arbor as well. All getting you set for the big game. Before we get to anything else though, let's get over to Christy Copanis with maybe one of the most famous of Buckeye fans, a guy from right here in Northwest Ohio. Yes, I have Big Nut. Big Nut, you are in enemy territory today. How you feeling? Well, I'm feeling great. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not worried, but I'm always concerned when we come up here. You always got to watch your back. And uh, and I've got, as you can see, I've got uh, some, some people surrounding me today, some great uh, Buckeye fans. And uh, you know what? Uh, it could be cold on the outside, but it's going to get hot on the inside because it's, it's going to get, uh, it's going to be hot and heavy in there today. It's going to be a great game. Uh, it, it's, it's always a, a great game between these because it, it is the game. It's the game of games of all games. And uh, that's the way it should be. It's the greatest rivalry in, in, in college football. We had Thanksgiving the other day. Christmas is coming up, but how big of a holiday is this for you? Wow, it's huge. It is big. Um, you know what? We, 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 this is one more step on that ladder to the national championship. And for us, you know, we can't stop now. And we're on a roll. So today, 
will take care of business here on the field. The Buckeyes will. And, uh, and I have to take care of business in the stands and get the fans, the Buckeye Nation, get them riled up, get them fired up. And we got to cheer them on because that's, that's what, that flows to the players on the field. And, and that exemplifies their play on the field. And we win this game today. And then next week, we're heading to Indy for the uh, Big Ten Championship. All right, how much do you get heckled around these parts? Oh, not too bad. Just just a, just a few barbs every here here and there, you know, a few few words. But uh, for the most part, it's all in good fun, and uh, it, it, it's a it's a rivalry with a lot of respect. It's a great respected rivalry, and, and that's that's the nice thing about this is that you know it's uh, it's two two states that you know touch each other, butt up to each other, and. Uh, and it, it, you just can't find a, a, a better maker, a better setup than this. Uh, you know, this started long before Woody and Bo, but Woody and Bo enhanced it, and they made it that much more special, and uh, it's just still going strong today. I know you have a lot of fans to get to, a lot of things to do. You're a busy guy before you leave. Do I have a score prediction? Well, I tell you what, I will predict 42-28, Buckeyes. Well, there you have it, Jordan, 42-28. Go Bucks. All right, Christy, thanks so much. Thanks so much, Big Nut. Everybody knows so who much. he is, especially uh, when you come to an Ohio State game. Always good to see him. A guy from Fremont who we talk to every single year and we absolutely love. All right, there are a ton of people out tailgating, and they have been here since before the sun came up. We have Tyler Paley with us as well up here in Ann Arbor. He is over at Pioneer High School where they are out in full force this morning. Good morning, Tyler. Yeah, good morning, Jordan. They certainly are out here in full force. We've got thousands of folks getting ready for the big game, Michigan and Buckeye fans alike. I want to bring in the Heinschel family. They came up today, right, from yeah, Oregon, yeah. and you guys are here to enjoy the big game, clearly rooting for Ohio State, I see. Right, right, right. <laughs> hey, what does this game mean? Obviously far more than a rivalry on the field. Oh, absolutely. I mean, being from Ohio and being a Michigan alum, I mean, it's – it's a big deal for us, and it's been a tough go the last couple of years, and hopefully these guys can start turning it around and making it a rivalry again and getting some Ws again. So You've thrown a ball or two in your life, my friend. What can you say that Shea Patterson has to do today? Um, oh, that's tough. I think he needs to continue to play the way he's played the past few games. He's looked a lot better in the second half of the season. Uh, really manage the game. Don't make the big mistake, really. That's kind of the number one thing is don't make the big mistake. Don't turn the ball over. Don't turn the ball over. You're going to make, get success on the offensive side. So, Pretty good advice. Hopefully he's listening. A local boy as well. Hey, guys, before I let you go, I need score predictions from the entire family. Let's go one by one. Oh, Mich tough. Michigan by three. Okay. I'm going to say uh, Michigan 45 to 38. High scoring game. All right. 27-24 yeah. Michigan. Okay. 30-27 Michigan. All right. So we're all over the board here, but... <laughs> The verdict is that Michigan is going to win this one. We're going to try to find some Buckeye fans who may want to refute that. But for now, Jordan, let's get it back over to you. All right, Tyler, thank you so much. Yeah, I think the Buckeye fans will probably have a different opinion once you get over to one of their tailgates. We appreciate it. We'll get back to Tyler in just a little bit. All right, let's now take a look at the keys to victory here for this game. There is so much on the line, no question about that. First for Ohio State, these are our keys to the victory brought to you by Jim White Honda. For the Buckeyes, do what you do. They are so balanced. They can run it. They can throw it. There's no question they are going to come out and try to do both of those things very early in this football game. They also are trying to make Michigan one-dimensional. When Michigan is most successful, they get that running game going, and then Shea Patterson can beat you through the air. If you can make them one-dimensional and you let Chase Young get going, it could be a long day for the Wolverines. And the other thing for Ohio State, got to get J.K. Dobbins going early. That could be demoralizing in a rivalry game. If you can line up and just pound that football and get J.K. Dobbins going early, that would be huge for Ohio State. On the other side, for Michigan, they are going to have to find a way to control Chase Young. Likely going to be a top pick in the NFL draft in just a few months. Potentially a Heisman candidate as well. He has been unbelievable on that defensive line. It'll be interesting to see what Michigan does against him. Do they bring an extra guy over to block him? It should be a long day trying to figure that out. Also, you can't beat yourself. No turnovers in this game. Uh, for Michigan. If they do that, it could be a long day for them as well. And the other thing is you just got to give yourself a shot late. Try to keep this thing a ball game at least into the fourth quarter. If you're trying to pull that upset, if you can hang around late in this thing, it should be an interesting afternoon. All right, we also have Dan Cummins and Kelly Heidbrader back in the studio. We will They will be cooking it up all morning. Kelly's got the weather as well. Now let's get it back to the studio. 
Good morning, Dan. It must be nice and warm there in the studio. Jordan, we're toasted. We will be outside a little bit later doing some cooking with Kelly. You know, we talked about the Heinchel family a moment ago. They all are unanimous, huh, that the Buckeyes will lose this game by three points. Anyway, it's a wonderful rivalry. 116th meeting overall, and Michigan has the edge 58, 51, and 6. But the Buckeyes come into this game. The game, 11-0, ranked number two in the country, number one now. They've clinched the Big Ten East and will play the Big West champion next Saturday in the Big Ten Championship. Here, here is how the Buckeyes got here. High expectations in Columbus, a new head coach at Ohio State, Ryan Day. But other questions for their opener against Florida Atlantic. First look at transfer quarterback Justin Fields. And he was as good as advertised. Buckeyes scoring 28 points first quarter of their first game. Ohio State rips FAU 45-21. Fields passing for four touchdowns. He ran for another. Cincinnati, the I-71 rivalry. J.K. Dobbins carries the day. 141 yards. Buckeyes 42 to nothing. First road game at Indiana, 528 yards of offense. Dobbins had 175 yards in the first half. And they just dominate IU. 51-10 was that final. Wins over Miami, 76-5. Nebraska, 48-7. Michigan State, 34-10. Northwestern, 52-3. Buckeyes racking up big numbers. But they had not been tested against a good team until Wisconsin rolled into Columbus. 13th ranked Badgers and third ranked Buckeyes. 10 0 game till Ohio State scoring on five of their last seven drives. 38 7, Ohio State wins the game. Buckeyes crushed Maryland 73 14 and Rutgers 56 21. Then the Penn State game in Columbus. Pounding the ball of the Nittany Lions, 61 running plays, 16 pass plays. Dobbins carries for 157 yards, two touchdowns. Bucks overcome three fumbles. Chase Young, three sacks, two forced fumbles. As Ohio State takes it 28 to 17, they're unbeaten and heading to Michigan to play the Wolverines. And of course, the Buckeyes next week have a date in Indianapolis already having clinched the, uh, the division championship. They'll play the winner of today's Minnesota-Wisconsin football game for the Big Ten title and hopefully also then go on to the Final Four in the playoffs. Weather could be a huge factor. We've been talking about it all week long, but we need an update from Kelly Hydrader over in the Weather Center. Kelly? Hey, good morning, Dan, and good morning to you. You know, this rivalry game, it's already on fire on my Facebook page, and I've got a lot of you fans posting some of your favorite posts this morning, so I'm going to show you these throughout the uh, show this morning as long as they're PG rated. So George, one of our fans, George Simbo, says this is his favorite. He says, my mama said Michigan is going to win because Ohio State is the devil. All right, get to my Facebook page. I've got a few more to share with you throughout the morning. Let's take a look at your radar. You can see it's cloudy right now in Ann Arbor, right here at home as well. We'll see those clouds sticking around with us for most of the game. You could see a few of these sprinkles heading toward Ann Arbor as we get toward the end of the game, but we should be under cloud cover with that temperature right in the high 30s. Here we are just after kickoff around 1 p.m., and you do see that cloud cover really sticking it in there, and also by 4 p.m., game is just about wrapping up, and you can see there, we'll just be uh, cloudy. Cloudy skies even into the early evening. Take a look at the light rain there just to the south. Here's that kickoff forecast today. Noon temperatures, Dan, and 38 degrees. And Jordan's feeling good under those cloudy skies right now. Bit chilly, Jordan. We'll keep those clouds with you all day today. And don't forget, we also have a food fight going on. Jordan, we're, we're really kicking it up here. At the studio, you're seeing the mason jar tap and grill, our Michigan team. And, of course, we have bar 145, our Ohio State team. There they are. They will be cooking up some ribs for their first round of the food fight. Coming up, Jordan. All right, Kelly, sounds good. Can't wait to see that. We will have much more coming here from Ann Arbor and also back in the studio in downtown Toledo. When we return, this is The Rivalry. Every child deserves to wake up to the magic of Christmas morning. Bring that magic to life by picking up a new unwrapped toy for children in foster care. Then drop off your gifts wherever you see one of these. Or simply go online, add to your cart, and ship directly to WTOL. Click it, ship it, gift it. One gift means the world to those who have so little. 
WTOL 11's Gift of Joy, sponsored by PNC. I would like to discuss a difficult subject that most people don't want to talk about this time of the year. It's an illness that can affect the whole family, depression. If you or a loved one is experiencing anxiety, depression, or other difficult feeling, please think about making an appointment with a mental health professional as soon as possible. Think of it as a gift that could change your life because time waits for no one. She's a daredevil and a diva, a dreamer and a doer, a mystery and a marvel. And she knows what she wants in a partner and an engagement ring. No matter what it takes to wow your Wonder Woman from classic to modern, coveted designer to a custom ring created just for you, you'll find it at the region's most trusted bridal custom design and fine jewelry leader, Leo Marks Jewelers, where happily ever after begins. Wallside is closing out our 75th year with our biggest offer ever. Half off every window, plus an additional $75 off every window when you pay cash. Or 72 months no interest with no down payment. That's six years. When our 75th year ends, so does this sale. Half off every window, plus an extra $75 off or 72 months no interest. No down payment. Ends Tuesday, December 10th. Be scheduled today. PNC presents The Rivalry, sponsored by Toledo Cardiology, because time waits for no one. Welcome back to Ann Arbor. We are getting it set for the big game coming up at noon over on Fox 36. Three hours of free game coverage from up here just outside the big house. Welcome back in. I am Jordan Strack. One of my favorite parts of this show every single year is to see what Kelly Heidbrenner is going to be cooking up, and she is back in our downtown studios. Kelly, what do you got coming for us this morning? Brandon, our first, uh, we have Brandon Saba, and of course we have Max here from, uh, we Max, have Mason, bar, Mason Jar gr Tap and Grill, and we have Brandon Saba from Bar 145. Yep. And Jordan, we have our very first food fight for this rivalry, and I'm so excited for it. And take a look at this. We even have trophies. I like it. By a Buckeye Wolverine store donated trophies for <laughs> us. And so the winning chef will actually get your totem pole and you will be able to brag about that at your restaurant Excellent. all you want on this rival. We're How all, about that, We're Brandon? all winners today, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's what they all say. Probably How about that, Max? Trophies. No, someone's gonna win. Someone's, someone's gonna, gonna win. <laughs> okay, so our very first one, we've taken these chefs. We've got eight different categories that we are gonna fight about today. The first one we have out on the table, of course, chicken Chicken wings, you can't have a food fight and a tailgate without chicken wings, right? It's a staple. All right, since Ohio State won last year, Max, okay? Right. We gotta go to Brandon first. All right, Chef, tell me all about what we have here. Um, orange glazed chicken wings. Mm -hmm. uh, Chef Chris Denman came up with the sauce, made it in house, uh, some green onions on top, some smoked sesame seed. So, um, you know, it's pretty, pretty easy, okay. pretty simple, but delicious. Well, and it's something you're gonna wanna have at a tailgate. <laughs> yeah. It's easy, it's simple. You get your hands dirty, but you know, what's the difference? Scarlet and gray, we had to That's go right. for that color, and I get to taste them now. Please How about that? Okay, I'm gonna taste that. I already it ate the rest mm -hmm. of them. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a little sweet, a little kick at the, kick at the end. Right. I love it. Yeah. So far, so good. Thank you, Max. Tailgate necessities. That one, I could probably have an entire roaster full, and my Absolutely. whole party would be happy. All right, Max, tell me a little about your restaurant. Uh, it's the Mason Jar. It's in Lamberville. Mm -hmm. um, we're a scratch kitchen. We cook everything from scratch, and we just come up with a new menu every single season. All right, tell me, come on in here. Tell me what you have. Uh, these are campfire wings. They're cooked over an open flame with real wood, um, so they're kind of smoky, but they're not smoked, and then they're tossed in a dry rub, served okay. with blue cheese coleslaw and blue cheese dressing. Okay, going for the wings, keeping it all even here today, yes, okay? Yes, all right, sir. but this looks gorgeous. Give it a shot. Dan had a serving in here, too, didn't he? For yeah. Dan Cummins. Right. He's yeah. going to try one I next love time. Dan. He ran off. <laughs> I have to keep him busy in the I studio. Thought, I think he's doing the weather. <laughs> <laughs> Good, someone needs to. <laughs> Hold on a minute. <laughs> mm. Mm. Fantastic. You say this is good with a little bit of the dress, the side on there. What is blue this made of? This is just blue cheese mm. dressing. Okay. Yep. All right. I have to give the only score because Dan is not out here. 
I would say. I will take that one. You know. (laughs) (laughs) All right, and our very first round of the food fight, I'm going to go with bar 145, six points there. Excellent, excellent, guys. All right. We don't get the extra, we don't get the seven? We got to get six points? You just get six points at this point. Come on. I'm going to call it seven. This is our first time around. I got to give it back to Jordan (laughs) so he can see what's going on at the big house. Jordan, first round goes to Ohio State. I like it. All right, Kelly, thanks so much. We'll be looking forward to it all morning long. All right, we are going to take another break, but stick with us when we come back. Dan Cummins will join us. This is the rivalry from Ann Arbor. Unlock the magic of the season through a world of lights. Whether it's a new beginning or your family tradition, the anticipation, the thrill of lights. The magic of the holiday comes to life. Create new memories this holiday season with WTOL 11 and the Toledo Zoo. Lights before Christmas. Jim White Honda is unwrapping Happy Honda Days early. It's our biggest sale of the year. With clearance prices on all of our best-selling models. Unwrap yours early because with clearance prices so low, the best selection won't last long. Drive Civic for a low $178 a month. Accord, just $238 a month. Or an all-new CRV, just $238 a month. Jim White Honda in Maumee is your destination for low payments, the best selection and clearance prices on every Honda in stock. You don't want to miss this sale. ABC Warehouse opens Saturday at 10 a.m. with some of the lowest prices ever, like this Samsung French door refrigerator with twin cooling plus for $9.96, and this TCL 65-inch 4K Roku Smart TV, just $3.97. ABC Warehouse, the closest thing to wholesale. For the first time, Dinosaur Adventure roars into Toledo, December 7th and 8th at the Seagate Convention Center, featuring 80 life-size dinosaurs and massive family fun. Experience the thrill of the prehistoric age, featuring a 40-foot T-Rex, Triceratops, Velociraptor, and many more. Try your hands at a fossil dig, take a ride on a walking dinosaur, bounce around in the prehistoric playground, and many more dino-themed activities. December 7th and 8th at the Seagate Convention Center in Toledo. Get your discount tickets today at dinosauradventure.com. Make Pigboard Friday your favorite. Don't miss any Friday night action with live scores from your home team to the biggest rivalries. Only on the WTOL 11 app. Download now. Bigger is better on Friday nights. PNC Bank presents The Rivalry. Sponsored by Jim White Honda. Dependable car, dependable dealer. Welcome back to The Rivalry. I'm Dan Cummins in studio. This being the 116th meeting of these two football teams. You know, this is the 23rd time that they've been top 10 when they play. Back in 2006, Michigan was number two, Ohio State was number one, and the Buckeyes held them off in Columbus, 42-39. That was the week that Bo Schembechler died. A great rivalry over the years, and Lou Aver takes a look back at all the years, the origin of how we got this far, the border battle. I'm going to have to interrupt you. We got... A big time battle going on right now. The official this perennial gridiron collision that is waged every year between OSU and Michigan has been ongoing nonstop for about a century. A rival that began as a recurring annual showdown back in 1918, long before there was a horseshoe in Columbus or a big house in Ann Arbor. But the very first meeting between the two teams was played back in 1897. It was collegiate football's first great battle of the border between Ohio and Michigan. The seeds of this rancorous rivalry between the two teams can be traced back to 1835 when Michigan and Ohio were ready to spill real blood over who owned the early real estate of Toledo. In all, it was about uh, uh, the territory as to whether the territory of Michigan was going to get the port of Toledo or Ohio was going to get the port of Toledo. And that's what it came down to. At the center of the dispute was this strip of land, the Toledo Strip, a narrow belt of landscape about five miles wide, a sort of no man's territory because of old treaties, bad map making, and too many surveys. The Northwest Ordinance said that we're going to run a line due east from the tip of Lake Michigan through the territories to Lake Erie. 
But it turned out, though, that Lake Michigan was much farther to the south than these first crudely drawn maps depicted. So the new line, the bottom line, put Toledo squarely in Michigan, including the coveted Maumee Bay and Maumee River, which back then and now was an economic plum for shipping and transportation, something worth fighting for. And in 1835, Michigan's boy governor, the 19-year-old Stephen Mason, was ready to do that, declaring Toledo belonged to Michigan. Even sending a deputy to arrest the wealthy developer of Toledo's Vistula area, Benjamin Franklin Stickney, in his home located where Riverside Hospital was later built. And then, of course, you have this, the famous incident of the stabbing, where the deputy of Michigan comes down and and two Stickney, which was Benjamin Franklin Stickney's son, second ends up son, right. second son because the first one was one. <laughs> the guy was just an imagination with names. And uh, he has a, a confrontation in a bar of all places, a tavern, and uh, he ends up st stabbing him. Well, two Stickney managed to escape, the deputy managed to survive. But the young Governor Mason was not pleased, and by September, he headed for Toledo with an armed militia to take it by force. Now, Governor Robert Lucas of Ohio wasn't pleased. He said he would have none of this nonsense, and President Andrew Jackson also thought the young, impetuous governor of Michigan had gone too far. And Michigan turns out to be the aggressor, which it is, by plan. And uh, there is a political solution. That solution was the Buckeyes were awarded the coveted Toledo Strip, and the Wolverines won the prize of the Upper Peninsula and eventual statehood. Thus, real war was averted. But better feelings lingered and displayed these days on the football field between the Buckeyes of Ohio and the Wolverines of Michigan. Once beaten Wolverines dominated the early play, Danny Klein started from his 33, slipped away... It is a rivalry with no rivals producing many memorable games and memorable players. One of them was Chick Harley, Ohio State's early premier running back who brought national attention to Ohio State from 1916 to 1919. He not only scored touchdowns, but he brought in fans by the thousand. So many that Ohio State then had to build a new stadium. It was called the house that Harley built. For Michigan, one of their most memorable players was Tom Harmon, another running back who just couldn't be stopped. His speed and ballet-type performance on the field set records and won championships. In the 1940 Rose Bowl against Ohio State, he's seen here with his final touchdown. Old 98, as he was called, left many teams frustrated because they just couldn't bring him down. In one game against California, a drunken fan said he wasn't going to let Harmon go the day without at least somebody tackling him, so he bolted onto the field and gave it a try. Another memorable game between OSU and Michigan was in 1950, the day that Mother Nature won. Delivering a blistering blizzard on that November day in Columbus, five inches of snow on the ground, 30 mile an hour winds, but that didn't stop the 50,000 fans from showing up to witness the snowball. A sort of imitation of a football game, as frigid hands fumbled the ball and slippery snow greased the field for a series of spills, slides, and 45 punts. Boys, I don't want you on the football field if you're going to show any signs of apathy. Apathy. Right there. And avoid it like the plague. Well, no war is ever fought without its generals, and the future 10-year war between the Bucks and the Wolverines from 1969 to 1978 featured two of the best, Woody Hayes in Columbus and Bo Schembechler in Ann Arbor. No man is more important than the team. No coach is more important than the team. The team, the team, the team. The 10-year war between Hayes and Schembechler would pit some of both schools' toughest teams against each other over the years. It was a rivalry that was always with high drama and high heat.
Woody Hayes on his trips to Ann Arbor would reportedly stop for the night with the team in Toledo because he didn't want to spend a cent in that state up north, refusing to even utter the word Michigan. Woody and Bo are gone now, but the rivalry in the game continues with no end in sight. Symbols of a rivalry that likely started 182 years ago, when both sides determined Wolverines and battling Buckeyes were ready in 1835 to get on the field and stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and battle it out to keep their grip on that first big trophy called Toledo. Louie Bear, WTOL 11. The rivalry. It's the best in sport, isn't it? All right, we're going to take a break right now. We'll go back up to Ann Arbor for more coverage with Jordan Strack, Christy Kapanis, Tyler Paley. There's a live look at the tailgating going on from Ann Arbor Pioneer High School. Of course, that is the hotbed of tailgating right there for Ohio State against Michigan. We'll be right back. Car accidents happen every day. It seems ordinary until it happens to you. You're overwhelmed by pain, injury, loss of income, and medical bills. Add to that the frustration of dealing with insurance companies. That's where we come in. We can take that burden from you. Generations of people have trusted us to protect them and their families. We can do the same for you. I'm an attorney with Gallon Takis and Voicenault. Call us. We can help. At 1-800-HANSON'S, Black Friday is the biggest sale of the year, and it only happens once a year. It starts now with up to 70% off the installation of our warp and impact resistant siding that comes with a lifetime guarantee. Up to 70% off with no payments and no interest till 2021. Call 1-800-HANSON'S now and get a free tablet. Whether you buy from us or anyone else, the tablet is yours. If your credit card debt is out of control, if you're in over your head in monthly payments, there's a secret the credit card companies don't want you to know. If you have more than $10,000 in credit card debt, you have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. That's bad news for the credit card companies, but it's great news for you. We're Credit Associates, and we're offering you free information on how to virtually eliminate your credit card debt with a monthly payment you can afford. To see how much you can save, call now. 1-800-922-9827. Don't declare bankruptcy. Don't consolidate. Give us 10 minutes and we could save you thousands. After all, we depend on your success and offer a guarantee so there's no risk. Credit Associates. Live better, debt free. Find out how easy it is by calling now. For the secret the credit card companies don't want you to know, call Credit Associates now and see how much money you could save for free. Call 1-800-922-9827. Welcome back to Ann Arbor. We are getting you set for Michigan and Ohio State. Just about two and a half hours away from right now. It should be a good one. We have a team of characters up here in Ann Arbor today. We've got Tyler Paley over at Pioneer High School with all of our tailgaters. And we've also got Christy Kopanis with us as well. Right now we're going to get over to Tyler Paley who has some excited tailgaters, I'm sure, over there getting ready for this game. Yeah, Jordan, they are having an absolute blast out here. The tunes are pumping. You can smell some burgers, some dogs on the grills. It smells amazing. I want to make our way over to one tailgating site over here with some local folks. And, and you can see the mixture in colors here from you guys. Shannon, I want to ask you first. You're in hostile territory today. How are you? Uh, how's this game looking for you? I'm a little scared. Are I'm not going to lie. Number one scared. team in the nation, a little scared. We're, we've got this. We've got this. Can I get a score prediction? Oh, no, 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 no. My husband does Brian, that. how about you? I'm not going to jinx it either. No, no. no. <laughs> how, about, how about the Michigan? You guys, how are you feeling? You're home field, home field advantage today. 13th ranked. Can you beat Ohio State? Is today the day? Yes. Today's the day. Why? Feeling good. Underdogs, man, they're fired up. They've been on a streak. Going 1969, good. 1969, 50 years ago, Woody came in, first year coach. Bo come in, beat Woody. Time for history to repeat itself 50 years later. How yeah. good does it feel to be at home for this one? Great, great. Awesome. No place better than Ann Arbor. No place better. Go you guys, and what about the Toledo area? Really, Northwest Ohio is, is such a critical part to this rivalry, isn't it? Yeah. You know, there's a house divided flag over there. That's pretty much what this whole Toledo is, you know. 
I'm meant for that, right? All right, we're got gonna. Got it. Yeah. We've got <laughs> Ohio State, Michigan. We are just a few hours away, Jordan. I'm gonna go ahead and send it back to you for now. Yeah, All right, Tyler. Thanks so much. They're fired up, and did, did I hear some nervous Buckeye fans over there? All right, we'll have to wait and see. All right, let's get over to Christy Copanis. She's just on the road here at Michigan Stadium. Hello, Christy. Hi, Jordan. Yeah, so confident Michigan fans, does that mean confident Michigan players? Well, if you ask them, they say yes. It's been 16 of the last 18 that Ohio State has won, but that hasn't messed up Michigan's confidence at all. In the press conference earlier this week, they talked about if you're coming into this game thinking that you're not going to win it, why even play it? So they're fired up, and they definitely think that this year can be the year that they top Ohio State. It's going to be hard, though. Ohio State, all, all the weapons that they have, it'll be really hard for Michigan to stop but the players think that this could be the day. I mean, I think if you're going into this game thinking you're going to lose, you're not even worth uh, going out there. So, uh, you know, we don't look at the years past. We're just focused on the year. Uh, you know, I like the way that we match up. Uh, we got faith in our team and looking forward to going there uh, uh, with them on Saturday. You know, coming here, you know, that's, that's one of your main goals to come out and beat, you know, beat Ohio, beat Michigan State. You know, beat Penn State, beat Wisconsin, beat the, uh, you know, the best teams in the Big Ten. So um, this game means a lot to me. Uh, it's going to mean a lot to go out with a victory my senior year, and I'm going to do whatever I can. You know, I'm going to let, you know, all my blood, sweat, and tears out on the field and practice in the, in, the, in the meeting rooms and the weight rooms. Do whatever I can to help the team come out with the victory. So a confident couple of Wolverines, and they live and breathe this rivalry 365 days a year. Just because it's this week doesn't mean they started prepping just this week. They go all year long thinking about this game. Jordan, I'll send it back to you. All right, Christy, thanks so much. That's right. Everybody all year long is always thinking about this particular game. All right, we are taking another break. When we come back, we will hear from former Buckeye head coach Urban Meyer, a really good interview with our buddy Dom Tiberi. You won't want to miss that. When we come back to Ann Arbor here on The Rivalry. FIC dealerships. Winter is almost here, and the eight FIC dealership locations have great specials that mean huge savings for you. We're offering great deals on our complete line of snow removal equipment, including 0% financing for 60 months on the all-new John Deere X7 Signature Series lawn tractors. Already have the equipment you need? Be sure to schedule your winter service so you can prevent downtime in the spring. FIC dealerships, solutions that work for you. You know who really loves fresh food? Amateur chefs, stay-at-home parents, salad lovers, barbecuers, smorgasbordgers, hors d'oeuvres, fondueurs, and flambeurs, oh, midnight snackers, brown baggers, bakers, and throw it in the microwavers. At Kroger, you can get all the fresh you want at a great price with delivery and free pickup because we believe in fresh for everyone. If you live in Ohio and you're eligible for Medicare, Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield can help you get a great plan at a great rate. Our Medicare Advantage plans pay for many of the costs original Medicare doesn't, so you can focus on other important decisions. Anthem plans help protect you from high medical costs. Included this year, an allowance for health items at Walmart. Plus, get dental coverage, vision benefits, prescription drug coverage, and access to over 15,000 fitness locations nationwide. Also included this year, choose an essential extras benefit to help you live a healthier, more comfortable life. If you live in one of the following counties, you can get a plan with $0 monthly premiums. Call now. The Medicare enrollment deadline for Ohio is December 7th. So call Anthem today at 1-888-265-1759 to learn more or to schedule an in-person meeting. Welcome back to Ann Arbor. This is the rivalry. We are getting closer to kickoff between Michigan and Ohio State. Well, we all know that Urban Meyer is no longer coaching the Buckeyes, but you better believe he has a very close eye on everything that goes on around that program and especially still with this game. He sat down with 10 TV, our sister station down Columbus, and had a really nice conversation with Dom Tiberi. The Ohio State Michigan game is billed as the greatest rivalry in all of sports. 
you won't get an argument from former Buckeye coach Urban Meyer. Respect is a word he uses when it comes to the rivalry. Uh, there's not one human being alive, and I fight anybody that doesn't have more respect for that university, those players, and those coaches. I didn't say like. As a matter of fact, it's hatred, but respect. <laughs> Meyer, who was a perfect 7-0 against the Wolverines, says the secret to his success was hard work. He says the OSU-Michigan game is not just a big game, it's a way of life 365 days a year. And Woody Hayes, after he was done coaching, admitted that he would work all year long for that game. You're not coaching anymore. Did you work all year long for that game? Nonstop. Uh, every, every if you go everywhere in this facility, for example, you go on the recruiting board, there's only one school that we follow every one of their recruits, where they're going, what they're doing. Uh, in the offseason, you have Coach Mick and his staff. There's always something about the team up north. I would coordinate videos throughout the year, and I'd say, okay, Tuesday's going to be team up north day. I want nothing but the history of the game blaring through the facility. I'd have a team meeting talk about it. And there's no question Meyer was a driven man when it comes to the OSU-Michigan game. Losing was simply not an option. I'm not sure what would have happened if we lost that game. I mean, you know how nuts I am, like certifiable. <laughs> uh, but I just can't imagine losing that. You know, what, going to, how do you go to dinner in Columbus, Ohio? You know, what do you do? And you walk down the street and someone says, there, that guy lost to them. Meyer's record speaks for itself. 187 career wins to go with just 32 losses. Two SEC titles, three Big Ten championships, and three national titles. And then there's the perfect 7-0 record against Michigan. Oh, well, it's number one. You know, that over national championships. It is. It's just because I was raised that you can lose all games but never lose that game. Now, obviously, that's not true anymore. That's really never been true. But I was brainwashed. You know, I was, I was in that Woody Hayes era that that was the enemy. Meyer cherishes every one of his seven wins over the Wolverines. But there's no question his biggest win came last year when he hung 62 points on the maize and blue, a game that still fires the coach up. They came in here, a lot of the players wearing Michigan Revenge Tour 2018. I can't believe that, yeah. Which, which kind of blew my mind. And you hung 62 points on them most ever. Um, what do you remember? I mean, did you know going into that game? No. Was oh, no, that was a great team. That was, uh, that was probably their best team. You know, the 16 team they had was outstanding, too. And their defense was lights out. And uh, uh, when I saw one of their players guarantee a win. Would you go as far as Jim Harbaugh did and guarantee that Michigan would be Ohio State? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I do. I couldn't believe I watched that, you know, the running back. And then I saw, uh, I was standing, when I first came out there, I, players, I mean, people, our players actually told me, I said, Coach, they're wearing shirts that compare us to Wisconsin, Penn State, and whomever else. And, and that's all due respect to their, those teams, but that's not us. That's not the game. And I, I can assure you to this day that if I ever see that out of an Ohio State player, uh, to me, that's absolute disrespect. And if you will remember, the Buckeyes had a chance to score another touchdown late in that game. Mike Weber busts that 30-yard run down to the 8-yard line or whatever, and I thought, I looked at the scoreboard, and I thought, you know, if we go in and score, should we go for two? Or, you know, because, you know, I know the history of this, of this game. And that, but you go back to the respect factor again. That's, that'd be, you know, you'd challenge our respect if we did something like that. As it turned out, the Buckeyes did not score again, and the rest is left to speculation. If you would have scored, would you have gone for two? Would have been 70. That's pure speculation. Uh, to say we would have, I can't say that. To say we wouldn't have, I can't say that either. That rivalry, you can just feel it, and Urban is so maniacal about it. We will have much more from Urban in my conversation with him coming up a little bit later. All right, we're taking another break here on The Rivalry. When we come back, we will talk to a former Michigan Wolverine from our area. Elliot Mueller will join me right here on set. This is The Rivalry. I would like to discuss a difficult subject that most people don't want to talk about this time of the year. 
it's an illness that can affect the whole family, depression. If you or a loved one is experiencing anxiety, depression, or other difficult feeling, please think about making an appointment with a mental health professional as soon as possible. Think of it as a gift that could change your life because time waits for no one. Rocket Insider, brought to you by YarkAuto.com. So far this season, the Toledo men's basketball team has been dominant on the boards, thanks in large part to senior forward Willie Jackson. Jackson ranks in the top five in the nation, averaging over 12 rebounds per game. Well, Willie's having a great year. You know, one thing about Willie, he's an unbelievably unselfish you know, player. Uh, he truly is an elite rebounder. Rebounding is a big thing. It's a skill. It's something that I practice. I, I work on in practice. Uh, just watching my teammates and the way they shoot the ball, just reading the ball. And I plan to lead the country in rebounding, so I, night in, night I'll have to do it. Jackson in the Rockets' next home game is this Saturday, November 30th. It's a 7 p.m. contest against Horizon League member Oakland. Rockets fans, don't miss our buy one, get one special for the months of November and December. For tickets, order online, call 419-530-GOLD, or stop by the Rocket Ticket Office today. Rocket Insider, brought to you by YarkAuto.com. The Touchtone Awards honor the best of journalism and community service. Thank you for honoring WTOL 11 as the best in covering hard news, local sports, first alert weather, social media, and photojournalism. WTOL 11, Toledo's news leader. Know first when school is delayed or closed with WTOL 11. Just in. Know the moment there's a change in school status. Always on. It's always there, and you'll never miss an update. The complete list of what you can expect on the roads. WTOL 11 never stops. PNC presents The Rivalry, sponsored by Toledo Cardiology, because time waits for no one. Welcome back to Ann Arbor as we get closer to kickoff between Michigan and Ohio State. This is The Rivalry. We are just outside the big house, and I've got a former Wolverine joining me right now, a guy that everybody from Northwest Ohio will know, a former Wauseon Indian as well, Elliot Mueller. Uh, first off, before we get going on the football thing, update everybody uh, on what you're doing. You're living out in LA, and you're a big yeah. you're a big uh, star on the big screen now, right? <laughs> I'm working on it. Working, working on, on it. it. Okay. Yes, All yes. Right. Doing a lot of commercials right now, but yeah, living in Los Angeles, and it's uh, it's been great. I love it out there, but coming back home, I love that too. And it's just uh, the cold is making me appreciate <laughs> LA. So it's it's good to get that. Does it take you a minute to get adjust, readjusted to the cold? You've been out there for I, a while. I think so. I used to live in Florida, living in LA. You get used to the warm <laughs> weather, and and now I'm out here. So it's uh, got to adjust back. You're a big, tough kid. You grew up in Wauseon. Uh, you'll handle it for a few hours. Oh, yeah. uh, all right, so how much do you still watch the Wolverines every week, even being out there? Oh, I'm, I'm glued to the TV. I'm lucky. L.A. has a huge uh, Michigan base, and especially some teammates live out there, so we're always texting and figuring out where to go and going to the Michigan bar or watching at a teammate's house, so it's I don't miss a game, that's for sure. Who are some of the former Michigan players that you still uh, communicate with? Uh, there's a guy, J.B. Fitzgerald, who, who yep. graduated with me. He's uh, He was one of my roommates with Kevin Coger, yep. Toledo great. And uh, so he's out there. And then uh, Jonas Mouton, uh, he's in L.A. a lot. And uh, so, yeah, but we communicate. We have a big group chat of former Michigan players from my era, so to speak. Awesome. So there's 30 or 40 of us that are always talking about the games and stuff. So it's, it's great. Awesome. So as a player, when you're about two hours away from kickoff against Ohio State, what is going through you at this moment? You know, I think all your preparation has been through spring ball and the summer. You're always talking about Ohio State. So I think your preparation's there. Now it's just getting your focus and preparing, knowing your assignments and, and uh, you know, just really getting in focus and, and knowing that you're a part of this great rivalry. This is why you come to Michigan. So uh, it's a special moment. Uh, one matchup everybody's going to have to watch today is obviously going to be Chase Young against that Michigan offensive line. As an offensive lineman yourself, how would you go about trying to stop a guy who's going to be very rich in just a few months as one of the top picks in the NFL draft? Well, like you said, as an offensive lineman, to me, the key to the game is going to be establishing a run game yeah. and being able to grind out their defense, keep their offense off the field, and, uh, and, and not having to rely on the pass game, which we're doing great with the pass game, but not having to rely on it utilizing it more than relying so uh, and you get slide protections helping the uh, tackles on Chase Young with running backs screen passes quick passes things like that 
will help in the pass game, but I want to see Michigan establish a run game and, and keep their offense off the field. Um, when you look at a guy like that, as an offensive lineman, do you take that as a challenge to try to stop a guy like that? And, and, and do you take some pride in, in something like that where everybody's talking about a guy like him? Absolutely. I, I have no doubt that our uh, offensive line is, is, is wanting that. You know, you come to Michigan, and, and, and especially this game, there's a lot of pressure, but I think the pre pressure is the privilege. You want that. You know you're part of something bigger than yourself. So now you have an opportunity. So it's no different with the offensive line. They're, they're going to want to shut him down. And, and uh, I, have, I have nothing but faith in him. But a great player is a great player. you got to help those guys and do things to put them in a position to shut him down. Pressure is the privilege. I like that. It's a very good line. Um, all right. I asked Urban Meyer and Charles Woodson this yesterday. Is there a scenario that you see that could lead to a Michigan upset here today? Yeah. Absolutely. I think our team is totally capable of it. And, you you know, we struggled early in the year. But right now, I think we're playing great football these last handful of games. And that's really what you want. You want to peak towards the end of the season, especially for this game. So I have no doubt we can. You still have to execute. You're capable of it. You have a great game plan. You have to be able to execute. And Ohio State's tough. So uh, if they execute, establish a run game, and, uh, you know, really play to their ability, it wouldn't hurt if Justin Fields fumbles it, throws some, <laughs> throws some picks. I'll take that too. That that would that would help. But you got to capitalize on that. And I think uh, I think they're totally capable. You want to make an official prediction before we let you go? I've been saying it's going to be 34-31 Michigan. All right. I think it's going to be high scoring and. Uh, so we'll see. That's what I'm going with. That's why I don't do this, because I'm biased. I'm biased. I won't lie. But I, I do think we're capable of it, and I, I, I'm going with the Michigan win. Appreciate you, Mike. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, that's Elliot Mueller. We are taking another break. We will be back with more from Ann Arbor here on The Rivalry after this. Get huge Black Friday savings at DeRocher's. Skip the malls, the lines, the big box stores, and the hassle. Shop the lowest prices of the year on appliances throughout the store with the best service and selection around. Get this four-piece Whirlpool kitchen package for just $19.99 and this Whirlpool chest freezer for just $3.99. Plus, all washers and dryers are on sale now. Get huge Black Friday savings at DeRocher's. Don't miss it. Hospice of Northwest Ohio gives you more options to meet your needs. Most patients receive our care wherever they call home, including nursing homes and assisted living facilities where they can be surrounded by the people and things they love. But if symptoms require care at one of our hospice centers, we have specialized expertise and staffing you just can't get in other settings. And it still feels like home. So experience more from the most experienced. Insist on Hospice of Northwest Ohio. You know who really loves fresh food? Amateur chefs, stay-at-home parents, salad lovers, barbecuers, smorgasbordgers, or dervers, fondueurs, and flambeers, midnight snackers, brown baggers, bakers, and throw it in the microwavers. At Kroger, you can get all the fresh you want at a great price with delivery and free pickup because we believe in fresh for everyone. There's something out there for you and me And the American road is calling So what's it gonna be? Hey, it's an amazing day Traveling our own highway No matter where it leads us We can smile Cause it's leaning in the miles PNC presents The Rivalry, sponsored by Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. Welcome back, everyone. It's The Rivalry. It's as good as it gets. <laughs> I love what happened it. to your hand? I don't know. It turned blue. You and should take it. some ibuprofen <laughs> or something. <laughs> I think it's fantastic. Don't you love it? You know, the mason jar tap and grill. Oh, I know. Whatever. I'm getting hives already. <laughs> uh, the mason jar tap and grill. One of our chefs today. Uh, fantastic. We're going to try their food. But first, on my Facebook page, there's kind of a rivalry of itself going on. They're all posting some fun stuff. So take a look at this. This is a picture of the wife 
being right again. Dan, it's from Jerome Brown. And you'll notice that the Buckeyes <laughs> won that time. <laughs> She's giving him that The look. usual look that a Michigan <laughs> fan ha has. You know what? This, what? this, this rivalry, <laughs> what happens... Uh, when oh, the same team wins over and over and over, the rivalry just starts getting not as yeah. important. Yeah, so we need Michigan to win today. Well, this is the year that Bowling Green beat Toledo, so who knows? I know. See, I'm going to keep you on your toes like I always do. All right? <laughs> That's an understatement, right? We're with Alex. <laughs> Alex here from the Mason Jar. Alex, what? Popcorn? popcorn. Yeah. Who doesn't like popcorn? popcorn. Yeah. Tailgate. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, let's keep walking through their yeah. tailgate. They actually set up games for us today. Look at this. We have a massage chair over there, Dan. Maybe we can check that out in a little while. This is quite and a tailgate I know, party I know, here. I know. Alex did all this with all the ladies around here. Look, they're playing checkers. Is Michigan winning yet? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's the only way Good. Michigan can win. <laughs> well, come on over here, Dan. I need you to be a judge for me. So, come on over here, Dan. You're going to stand next to Max. Of course, Max is from the Mason Jar. Yes, I am. And we have Brandon is from bar 145, Hello. and they are fighting for these trophies right here. Absolutely. How about that? Those trophies are fantastic. Yeah, thank you. That's from the, uh, the Buc uh, Buckeye Wolverine store. And so, Brandon, you are first up. You won okay. the first six points already. Six zip. Right. Max is behind. Give us the extra point, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad. Let's go for this. So, Dan, we have this. Brandon, why don't you tell us these about are, your dish first? These are our garlic steak fries. Um, so, obviously, you got your potatoes. Dan. You got tomatoes, uh, queso cheese shredded cheese uh, we got a chipotle sour cream green onions uh baked candied bacon oh, oh, <laughs> You scared I'm me. I'm so, I mean, it's everything you need for a good tailgate. It's mm -hmm. it's simplistic, but there's still a lot of flavor. Man. And uh, there you go. See all the heat coming out of They're them. They're huge. Yeah. Okay. That's how Ohio brings it. <laughs> <laughs> I love what the do you presentation think? Okay, okay. Too. Let me Thank try. You. Let me try. Love the presentation. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you need something messy, but something you can get into when you're at a tailgate. Ooh. So, like, this brings everything mm. you need in one plate. Okay. You're going to be a mess, but that's where I brought an apron. Go ahead, okay, Kelly. Okay, that's really good. There you go. I appreciate that. There you go. <laughs> now that's the great. Max, what do you have here? Um, I have croquettes. I did blue potatoes and gold potatoes for the U of M. And then there's mm. a horseradish sauce down below. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. There's cheddar and roasted mm. garlic inside each one. Mmm. They're very good. Thank you. All right. Wow. Brandon had it six points right out of the gate. What do you think? We've got Max coming up hard and strong. What do you think? I like both. I'll give, I'll give, uh, I'll give Max the edge here. Okay, now it's tied six all. <laughs> well, I'm not right. very good at sports, Dan. You're supposed to do that part. <laughs> <laughs> at least you didn't give them the extra point. I we don't have extra six, points, Brandon. Five. He still whines about that extra point. We have a, extra, extra points later that. in the game. <laughs> you just really like the food, don't you? I really do. All right. Thanks well, for inviting me on here. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> the food fight continues, gentlemen. So the next round, we're coming back out with even more great food. We're gonna check that out coming up. But just a bit, you all stay right there. Uh -huh. We get to eat more of this. Yum! <laughs> It's heartbreaking when you can no longer safely care for your loved one at home. The decision was made to go to a nursing home. Promises were made by the facility. Promises were broken. You can't even get answers to your simple questions. That's where we come in. Generations of people have trusted us to protect them and their families. We can do the same for you. I'm an attorney with Gallon, Takis, and Boisenol. Call us. We can help. If you live in Ohio and you're eligible for Medicare, Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield can help you get a great plan at a great rate. Our Medicare Advantage plans pay for many of the costs original Medicare doesn't, so you can focus on other important decisions. Anthem plans help protect you from high medical costs. Included this year, an allowance for health items at Walmart. Plus, get dental coverage, vision benefits, prescription drug coverage, and access to over 15,000 fitness locations nationwide. Also included this year, choose an essential extras benefit to help you live a healthier, more comfortable life. If you live in one of the following counties, you can get a plan with $0 monthly premiums. Call now. The Medicare enrollment deadline for Ohio is December 7th. So call Anthem today at 1-888-265-1759 to learn more or to schedule an in-person meeting. 
Looking for that perfect gift for that someone who loves a clean car? Russell's Auto Wash has the answer. Gift cards and gift books. Buy three works washes, get two free. Or buy four express washes, get one free. Russ's full detailed gift certificates and unlimited monthly club plans are always appreciated. Visit any Russell's Auto Wash location. Secor and Central, Secor and Lasky, Central and Plainview, and our newest express wash in Adrian, Michigan. Go to russsautowashtoledo.com for more information. And Merry Christmas from Russ's. Welcome back to Ann Arbor, where we are getting you set for Michigan and Ohio State coming up in just a little over two hours from now. We are just outside the big house. Michigan, a nine-point underdog in this thing. Of course, the Buckeyes have won seven straight, 14 out of the last 15. It has been a strong stretch for Ohio State. We have so much more to get to coming up here on the show. We will talk to Dallas Gantz parents. They will join us on set. Plus my conversation with Charles Woodson and Urban Meyer and a whole lot more. Plus we're gonna check in with Emma Henderson over at Dale's Bar and Grill in Maumee. That is all coming up in just a little bit. Stick with us here from Ann Arbor. This is The Rivalry. Christmas in the heart of activity is thousands of twinkling lights, free photos with Santa Claus, horse-drawn carriage rides, new memories and honored traditions, and all your shopping in one place. Join us at the Town Center at Levis Commons. At 1-800-Hanson, Black Friday is the biggest sale of the year, and it only happens once a year. It starts now with up to 70% off the installation of our famous triple-pane windows that come with a lifetime guarantee. Up to 70% off with no payments and no interest till 2021. Call 1-800-Hanson's now and get a free tablet. Whether you buy from us or anyone else, the tablet is yours. Done. You know who really loves fresh food? Amateur chefs, stay-at-home parents, salad lovers, barbecuers, smorgasbordgers, or dervers, fondueurs, and flambeurs, oh, midnight snackers, brown baggers, bakers, and throw it in the microwavers. At Kroger, you can get all the fresh you want at a great price with delivery and free pickup because we believe in fresh for everyone. Quality care is important for good health. Buckeye Health Plan is rated number one in quality by the Ohio Department of Medicaid. Buckeye takes great care of my family with quality health care and rewards. Buckeye's quality care gives my family peace of mind. Buckeye's quality care helped me have a healthy baby. I have a very serious heart condition, but thanks to Buckeye's quality health care, I'm doing just fine. Buckeye Health Plan care you need, the quality you deserve. Christmas in the heart of activity is thousands of twinkling lights, free photos with Santa Claus, horse-drawn carriage rides, new memories and honored traditions, and all your shopping in one place. Join us at the Town Center at Levis Commons. The Buckeyes. The Wolverines, one of college football's greatest rivalries. From Ann Arbor, PNC presents The Rivalry. This is The Rivalry. We are in Ann Arbor and we are having fun just about two hours away from kickoff here between Michigan and Ohio State. Should be a good one. The Buckeyes, as we've mentioned, a nine point favorite trying to make it eight straight wins over the Wolverines. All right, let's dive into this football game a little bit more. Of course, it is the first year as head coach for Ryan Day in this rivalry, and he has picked up right where Urban Meyer left off. He's been unbelievable in his first year. There's no question about that. He has kept that insane emphasis on this game. They talk about what Michigan is doing in recruiting. They practice for them all year long. Right now, Ryan Day has this team as the number one team in the country in the college football playoff rankings. And so far, so good, but now we get to see what he does in his first rivalry game. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to do the best I can to make it like every week, although we all know, know it's not, and do a little extra here, do a little extra there to make sure that uh, we're covering every single scenario we can, making sure we're letting the guys have a great plan. Um, but if you, if you start to overdo things, um, then 
you can get yourself jammed up. And that's why all the work gets done ahead of time. That's why we live at 365, so that when you get here during the week, you don't have to all of a sudden come up with an unbelievable speech on a Tuesday. You know, the guys know what it is, and you can put the focus more on giving them a good plan, making sure things are tight, uh, and, and spending your focus on making sure the guys are prepared. Now, Ryan Day is not a guy that's from Ohio. He grew up in the Northeast. The biggest rivalry that he knew, he says, when he grew up was the Red Sox-Yankees rivalry, but he has quickly taken a liking to this one, and so far, so good for Ryan Day. Now, they put a major emphasis when they recruit on this game. There are some guys that come to Ohio State just to play in a rivalry game like this. And around the Buckeye building, the football complex, when you're around there all year long, they're talking about this game. Urban Meyer, you heard earlier in the show, he mentioned the fact that 365 days a year, they've got videos, they've got posters, they've got things all about playing against Michigan. And recruiting is so important. And some guys, they come here because they want to play in games just like this. In recruiting, we, we talked to them right from the get-go, and that's one of the reasons why you know some people come to school here is for the rivalry because we make such a big deal of it. As you guys know, when you walk in the building, it's all over the place. and. We talk about it all the time, and, and we talk about it in recruiting in all different areas, whether it's strength and conditioning or football or, or any other uh, areas. And so, um, you know, we just, it's something that you just ingrain. And then the more, you know, these guys are in the program, the more they get it. So that's from the Ohio State perspective about this rivalry, but you better believe they are just as passionate up here in Ann Arbor when it comes to the Michigan-Ohio State rivalry. Jim Harbaugh grew up in this thing. He knows exactly what it means. He played in it. He coached in it. So it's a very big game for him as well. The Wolverines, though, they are trying to erase some demons against Ohio State. Everybody knows they've lost seven straight, 14 out of 15, 16 out of 18. Any way you slice this thing, it has been dominant from the Buckeyes. Jim Harbaugh knows what it means, and he knows just how important it would be for him and he could somehow get an upset win here today against the Buckeyes. As I, as I like it, the Michigan State game to a state championship, uh, this is even bigger. This is, this is uh, two states championship, Michigan and Ohio. Uh, so we're excited about it. We're, uh, we're, uh, our feelings about it, if you're asking that, or, um, we're excited for the challenge. My feelings, I'm excited for the game. It should be a good one, and we are just about two hours away from kickoff. All right, let's get it back to downtown Toledo where Dan Cummins is standing by, and he's going to let us know how Michigan got to this point. Jordan, your Harbaugh sound, it's like it's so funny watching him try to struggle for words to say, you know? <laughs> He doesn't he doesn't want to give Ohio State any bulletin board material. That's the only thing that I can possibly think of when he comes to this week. He just doesn't want to give the Buckeyes bulletin board material. So he figures <laughs> if he doesn't say anything, then no one could possibly misconstrue his word. But he doesn't give the writers <laughs> and, and the TV reporters much to work with either. All right, Jordan, thank no, you he so does. much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, Michigan comes into this football game with a record of nine and two. They're ranked 10th in the country. Buckeyes number one, of course. Now, Michigan, they've recovered from a slow start this year to really be playing their best football right now. Here's a look back at the Wolverine season. It's been a roller coaster for sure. Picked by many as the preseason favorites to win the Big Ten. Remember, Michigan had an exceptional defense coming back and experience with quarterback Shea Patterson plus dynamic Donovan Peoples-Jones as a playmaker. He would miss quite a bit of the first half of the season with injury. In the opener against Middle Tennessee, Patterson threw for three touchdowns. Michigan wins it 42-21. But they struggled against Army. Zach Charbonnet ran for three touchdowns, one of them in the first overtime. Finally, a field goal in double overtime. Then this strip sack by Quiddy Pay ends it. Michigan wins. Game three at Wisconsin, a bad day. Badgers ran for 359 yards. Michigan had just 40 yards out of their run game, got smoked 35-14. Michigan fell to 20th ranking when they bounced back, busting Rutgers 52-0. Here's Patterson to Nico Collins. Patterson ran or threw for four touchdowns. Then 14th ranked Iowa came to Ann Arbor, and this would be a test. Charbonnet's run gave Michigan a 10-0 lead first half. That was it for points. The defense was solid. Four turnovers, eight sacks. Michigan hangs on 10-3 over Iowa. After a win over Illinois, Michigan plays at Penn State. They fell behind 21-0 on the road, still battling. Charbonnet, a touchdown, 21-14. 
28-21, middle fourth quarter. Three yard line, fourth quarter, chance to force overtime, but a dropped ball, and that was it. 28-21, Penn State, your final. Then their non-conference rivalry game with eighth ranked Notre Dame at the Big House. Wolverines run for 300 yards and route the Irish 45-14. A win over Maryland, then here, Michigan State 44-10. Wolverines have it figured out in the run game and the passing game, the confidence is building. Then a dominating 39-14 win at Indiana last weekend. Last two weekends, Patterson's thrown for 750 yards and nine touchdowns. Michigan now 10th ranked in the country, and they have their swagger back. Yeah, they had their swagger back, all right. The Michigan is so tough to beat at the big house, and with the game being up there, well, Buckeyes right now about a 10-point favorite in the game. We'll see how things uh, shape up. Kickoff is at noon today. Jordan Strack back live in Ann Arbor. How, so how are things up there? No sign of any precipitation, no rain, no drizzle? So far, so good. Let's not jinx it, Dan. It's a little chilly, but that's, that's what we expect for the game. It's all right. And it's, spoiler, I, I've got a propane heater sitting right behind me, so I've been warm the entire time. It's totally fine up here. All right, it has been an unbelievable atmosphere. There are people everywhere. Let's get over to Christy Gopanis with more on that. Yeah, Jordan, you have the heater. I don't, so uh, I'm way tougher than you are. But that's, uh, that's news for another day. All right, so fans are... There you go. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Woo! Okay, fans, fans are piling in. The atmosphere here is just insane. There's no way to really describe it. It's just different. As fans pile in, the roars get louder, the cheers get louder. Louder. You get an OH and you hear an IO, and then they rebuttal with a go blue, of course. We are getting closer and closer to kickoff, and the crowd is just getting bigger and bigger. This stadium will be absolutely packed today, and you can bet it is going to be loud and rowdy. Jordan, I'll send it back to you. All right, Christy, thanks so much. This place is rocking and rolling up here in Ann Arbor, and they are also going to be fired up at Dales in Maumee. We will have more on that coming up in just a little bit. This is the rivalry, and we are in Ann Arbor, getting you closer to kickoff of Michigan and Ohio State. Pick up a new unwrapped toy for children in foster care. Then drop off your gifts anywhere you see one of these. They're all over town. Or go online and ship directly to WTOL. Click it, ship it, gift it. WTOL 11's Gift of Joy, sponsored by PNC. Make Big Board Friday your favorite. Don't miss any Friday night action with live scores from your home team to the biggest rivalries. Only on the WTOL 11 app. Download now. Bigger is better on Friday nights. Jim White Honda is unwrapping Happy Honda Days early. It's our biggest sale of the year. With clearance prices on all of our best-selling models. Unwrap yours early because with clearance prices so low, the best selection won't last long. Drive Civic for a low $178 a month. Accord just $238 a month. Or an all-new CRV just $238 a month. Jim White Honda in Maumee is your destination for low payments, the best selection and clearance prices on every Honda in stock. You don't want to miss this sale. If you live in Ohio and you're eligible for Medicare, Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield can help you get a great plan at a great rate. Our Medicare Advantage plans pay for many of the costs original Medicare doesn't, so you can focus on other important decisions. Anthem plans help protect you from high medical costs. Included this year, an allowance for health items at Walmart. Plus get dental coverage, vision benefits, prescription drug coverage, and access to over 15,000 fitness locations nationwide. Also included this year, choose an essential extras benefit to help you live a healthier, more comfortable life. If you live in one of the following counties, you can get a plan with $0 monthly premiums. Call now. The Medicare enrollment deadline for Ohio is December 7th. So call Anthem today at 1-888-265-1759 to learn more or to schedule an in-person meeting. PNC Bank presents The Rivalry. Sponsored by Jim White Honda. Dependable car, dependable dealer. Welcome back to Ann Arbor. This is The Rivalry. We are getting you set for Michigan and Ohio State coming up. Just a little bit afternoon over on Fox 36, but stick with us up to that point. 
we will continue to get you set for the big game. There are plenty of tailgaters and fans all around the big house. Over at Pioneer High School, there are a huge group over there, and that's where Tyler Paley is standing by. Let's get it over to Tyler now. Yeah, good morning, Jordan. We are having a blast out here, folks showing up all throughout the last several hours. When we first got here, the sun was still set and people were already packing this parking lot over here at Pioneer High School. Dominic, Michael, and Tony among those tailgating today. Guys, thanks for joining me. First of all, clearly rooting for Michigan. I need score predictions first. Ooh, that's Ooh. not fair. <laughs> 36, Michigan, 27, Ohio State. Ooh, <laughs> I'll come back to you. Uh, go back to him. All right, all right. Hey, let, let me ask you this. You guys, 27, 20, all right. I was looking for a win for my yeah. guys. Yeah. Hey, you guys have a great tailgate going on over here. What are you, what are you cooking up? Today, brats, uh, ham, brats. brats, got some brats from Cleveland. Yeah. Nice. Yes, I got a <laughs> breakfast beer, roll, but that's all gone. Ohio, but it's all I'll take from Ohio. Yeah, thank you. Guys, uh, this game obviously uh, it means a lot more than just you know the contest out on the field. What does this rivalry mean to you guys? I hate red. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hate, yeah. hate, hate, hate discouragement. It's pretty much, yeah, that's pretty it's just much just it. Poor, it really, really, you know, it did. It's just a smell it. in the air from too many of their fans being here. <laughs> and I'm trying to overcome it with alcohol and uh, yeah, fine right. food, and but it's still there. It's it's lingering. It's still there. You guys are hoping for hours to walk out of your home field with a win. Thank you guys for joining. Us. Appreciate it. We are going to go hang out with some of these guys, get some, maybe warm up a little. Jordan, for now, I'll send it back to you. All right, Tyler. Thanks so much. Everybody's. Um, been drinking a little bit today and they're having fun and it's a beautiful morning and it's staying warm so you're supposed to do a tailgate all right we're gonna come back to ann arbor in just a moment getting you set for kickoff between michigan and ohio state and this is the rivalry i would like to discuss a difficult subject that most people don't want to talk about this time of the year it's an illness that can affect the whole family depression. If you or a loved one is experiencing anxiety, depression, or other difficult feeling, please think about making an appointment with a mental health professional as soon as possible. Think of it as a gift that could change your life because time waits for no one. If you're looking for a really special gift this holiday season, Inside Out has it. From top brand hot tubs to beautiful indoor recreation furniture, plus our lowest price of 2019 guarantee. Right now, a complete recreation room with pool table, home bar, and bar stools is just 80 a month. Shuffleboard tables, 60 a month. Elegant bars, 45 a month. And save 30 to 60% on kitchen and bar stools. Make this holiday really special with a gift from Inside Out. If your credit card debt is out of control, if you're in over your head in monthly payments, there's a secret the credit card companies don't want you to know. If you have more than $10,000 in credit card debt, you have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. That's bad news for the credit card companies, but it's great news for you. We're Credit Associates, and we're offering you free information on how to virtually eliminate your credit card debt with a monthly payment you can afford. To see how much you can save, call now. 1-800-922-9827. Don't declare bankruptcy. Don't consolidate. Give us 10 minutes and we could save you thousands. After all, we depend on your success and offer a guarantee so there's no risk. Credit Associates. Live better, debt free. Find out how easy it is by calling now. For the secret the credit card companies don't want you to know, call Credit Associates now and see how much money you could save for free. Call 1-800-922-9827. PNC presents The Rivalry, sponsored by Toledo Cardiology, because time waits for no one. Welcome back into The Rivalry. We are live in Ann Arbor, taking you up to kick off just outside of the big house right now. But let's get it back to downtown Toledo where Kelly Hydrator getting us ready with some tailgate food at our studio. WTOL. Hi, Kelly. 
Hey there, Jordan. Hey there, and I've got Dan with me too, and we're trying some more food, right? Yeah, uh, stop right there, stop right <laughs> there. I have some interesting information that you might you want to see. Yes. Okay, what would that be? Uh, these are things that have been invented since U of M last won a Big Ten championship. Okay, well, bring um, it on. Let me know what they uh, are, sir. Facebook, <laughs> HDTV, <laughs> DVR, Bluetooth, <laughs> Skype. Hey, now, now. Satellite radio. <laughs> YouTube what? has been invented YouTube since was Michigan long, last won the Big Ten. Not very long ago. The iPhone. Oh my gosh. The Android. <laughs> this is the this iPod is terrible. and the iPad. Ashley, <laughs> Ashley posted that on my Facebook page. Can you believe that? <laughs> I think was was the uh, was the car invented since Michigan <laughs> last won? You're hurting me. You're really the hurting wheel. me. Hey. The wheel. Yeah, my team. What are you talking? <laughs> about man here are the trophies these guys are battling for today brandon from bar 145 hello tell us about your restaurant brandon bar 145 yeah it's everything you need uh bar 145 burgers bands bourbon we just added some uh, duckman polling lanes uh over at reset we got video games we got burgers a stack your own menu entertainment whatever you want Whoa. how long have you been there now uh coming so, up on nine years is it nine years yeah may of uh 2011. Yeah, it's a happening place out there in Monroe Street. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, we're done over there right, on right, your right, side. Right, okay, right. come on. Right, it's yeah, time yeah, to go yeah. on my side. So our Michigan team for this food fight, we have Max from the Mason Jar. Now, yes. you are just over the Michigan Ohio border. Right. Tell us about your restaurant. Uh, well, like I said earlier, we're a scratch kitchen. We change our menu every season. Like scratch? <laughs> uh, we try to buy local, support local, <laughs> um, and then our, we're probably known for our burgers. They're ground fresh almost every day. Okay, fantastic. All right, you ready for this? Yeah, let's do okay, some pasta. Okay, what's the score right now? Uh, well, it's tough. Sixes. Are you keeping He's numbers? Max. Sixes. We're sixes, sixes, all right. Nice sixes. Okay, this round, okay, and this food fight is about is pasta. Yeah. All right, so Brandon went first last time, didn't he? Yes. Yeah, okay, so Max, you are first this time around. So Max, Sweet. tell us about your dish. Uh, this is a blackened chicken macaroni and cheese. Uh, it's made with jumbo shell noodles, uh, mm. blackened chicken, which is a little bit spicy, and then it's got a Parmesan and cheddar cheese sauce. Ooh. Is it hot? I don't like hot. <laughs> You'll be fine. Baby. <laughs> we will be fine. <laughs> and you really went all out on your theme. Yeah, definitely. Okay. We, we tried to keep everything. Very tasty. Mm. Yep. Okay, I'm going to kind of give it this way because I have to do this with my right hand. Mm. Is that chicken? Mm -hmm. Yep, blackened chicken. Ooh. Black and chicken. That's macaroni cheese like bonus. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Okay. Ah. Hey, only one bite. <laughs> hey, he does not follow directions. Now I have to hold this. <laughs> Brandon, sorry. what do you have? You're on your own. I'm sorry. This is a uh, shrimp etouffee. He needs, so he needs a microphone. We were supposed to do a pasta dish. We went a little off the, uh, we went a little out of our lane. Ooh, wow. That's normally what we do at Bar and I guess. We don't really stay in our lane. So, um, shrimp etouffee, mm -hmm. if you're not familiar with it. It's not really, um, where's the pasta on this? Uh, it's Asian pasta. It's called rice. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. So, this is your He's also awesome. He's a chef and a comedian. Right. Mm -hmm. That'll well. be doing the weather later. <laughs> oh, you're killing me. Oh, that's so, so good. It's just our take on it. Like I said, we went a little mm. on our lane, but we wanted to uh, we wanted to bring something that we can only bring to a tailgate. It's easy. It's delicious. Mm. I mean, it's hot. It I keeps think you're going. I think you're onto something with this uh, this Asian pasta. So. Right. <laughs> right. Oh man. That was, in, that was right. Wow. Right around the time Michigan won too. Oh, oh you guys are <laughs> I mean, All come kinds on. Of singers. <laughs> All right, do you have a score? What do you think? It's tied six to six. I'll give him the edge this time. Okay, right, I'm gonna that. give him the edge this time. So you want to battle it up? No, not really. We give them each three. You're Sure. Okay. Yeah, three all. Okay, it's nine, nine. So nine, nine the score's nine, nine. nine, nine. You, you guys ready? Okay, <laughs> ready for the next round on this food Seems fight. Good. I'm having fun with this. How about you? Yeah, I am too. Yeah. And there's more to come too. Just so you all know, this Asian pasta. <laughs> We're here for everything. Who knew? <laughs> Jordan, back to you. <laughs> all right, guys. Don't have too much fun without us down there. All right. Uh, so you, everybody remembers the very famous game Michigan played when they lost to Appalachian State here inside the big house. For Michigan fans, I hate to bring it back up, but this is a really interesting story Christy Copanis has. Let's get it over to Christy now. Yeah, a little blast from the past. Blake Elder, his wife Reagan, you were on that team that beat Michigan. First off, flash the, yeah, App Saint. Um, 
How cool was that moment? It was amazing. We, uh, 2007, my brother and I were actually on the team together and uh, coming up to the most historic place that a lot of people say in college football and winning on that day, it was an amazing experience. What's it like to be back today? It's, it's awesome to take in the game and the atmosphere as a fan and it's the Ohio State Michigan game. So it's another level of uh, walking through the tailgate and watching the players enter into the stadium. It's a great experience. And these tickets were a wedding gift, right? How cool was that to get these tickets? <laughs> So awesome. I mean, when we were dating and I found out that he was a part of the App State team that beat Michigan, I knew I could take him home to dad. <laughs> okay, so I gotta ask, do we have a score prediction for me? I said 41 to 13 Buckeyes because I think the defense for the Buckeyes coupled with their offense, you know, Michigan's defense is pretty good, but their offense hasn't been able to get it rolling this year. All right, you've been a Buckeye fan. How cool is this moment? So awesome. I mean, honestly, you can't help but just to have goosebumps just walking through all the noise down there. It's great. I'm ready for a it's good game. It's our first Ohio State Michigan game. And so to do it together as a married couple, we're two months in celebrating Thanksgiving. It's a, it's a great experience for us. And every time someone yells, Go Blue, what do you say? App State. App State. <laughs> App State and flash the logo, Jordan. That's right. All right, Christy, thanks so much. Reagan actually played soccer at the University of Toledo. Blake, an athlete himself, now all living in Toledo. It's a really cool story. I'm sure Michigan fans don't want to hear about it, but still a pretty cool story. All right, we are going to take another break here on the rivalry. When we come back, we will have much more here from Ann Arbor just outside the big house. Wow, look at all that snow out there. Good thing I had you go to TAS and get a remote starter for the car. Whoops. Guess who's going out and starting my car? Yes, dear. It's not too late. TAS Electronics has remote car starters from $199 installed, including bypass. Plus heated seats, just $149 installed. No one can stop the winter, but with TAS, you can have a nice warm vehicle waiting for you. TAS Electronics. Fuel power. TAS Electronics. It's hot. Rallies has a pot roast melt for just $2.99. So good, you'll think they kidnapped your grandma. This tender pot roast is just like she used to make. Except Granny never put her pot roast on a sourdough bun. And she never stacked it high on a juicy burger with crispy onion tanglers and melted cheese. Sorry, Grandma. Looks like you lost this round. But you'd still school us at bingo. The new pot roast melt, just $2.99. Only at Rallies. Get Rallies delivered. If you live in Ohio and you're eligible for Medicare, Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield can help you get a great plan at a great rate. Our Medicare Advantage plans pay for many of the costs original Medicare doesn't, so you can focus on other important decisions. Anthem plans help protect you from high medical costs. Included this year, an allowance for health items at Walmart. Plus, get dental coverage, vision benefits, prescription drug coverage, and access to over 15,000 fitness locations nationwide. Also included this year, choose an essential extras benefit to help you live a healthier, more comfortable life. If you live in one of the following counties, you can get a plan with $0 monthly premiums. Call now. The Medicare enrollment deadline for Ohio is December 7th. So call Anthem today at 1-888-265-1759 to learn more or to schedule an in-person meeting. We're looking live here in Ann Arbor as we get ready for Michigan and Ohio State. We're getting closer to kickoff. When we come back, we will talk to Dallas Gantz parents. Of course, he's a current Buckeye. We've got that when we return here to Ann Arbor on the Rivalry. We all strive to be amazing. Here at St. Luke's, amazing happens with every second we respond to strokes faster. With every life-changing spine and orthopedic surgery perfected, we seek out greatness for the times of your life and the loves of your life at the one hospital near you that is home to amazing. St. Luke's Hospital, amazing care for amazing you. You monitor every beat, track every inch, every pound. You train with everything you have just to be the best. But when it comes to a better night's sleep, 
Are you getting your best? Recover, rebuild, and replenish with Athlete's Choice at Denver Mattress. With B-Fit technology featuring copper-infused memory foam and ice fabric, Athlete's Choice provides optimal rest and recovery for hard-working muscle groups. Get a better night's sleep and a better day's performance with Athlete's Choice, exclusively at Denver Mattress. For the first time, Dinosaur Adventure roars into Toledo December 7th and 8th at the Seagate Convention Center featuring 80 life-size dinosaurs and massive family fun. Experience the thrill of the prehistoric age featuring a 40-foot T-Rex, Triceratops, Velociraptor, and many more. Try your hands at a fossil dig, take a ride on a walking dinosaur, bounce around in the prehistoric playground, and many more dino-themed activities. December 7th and 8th at the Seagate Convention Center in Toledo. Get your discount tickets today at DinosaurAdventure.com. PNC presents The Rivalry, sponsored by Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. Welcome back to Ann Arbor. We are getting closer to kickoff here on The Rivalry. And joining me now, Dallas Gantz parents who are excited about this one, obviously, because Dallas will be on the field here inside the big house. Got Ronnie Kevins, Jim Gant. Jim, I'm gonna start with you first. Um, what is today like for you? What are the nerves like for a parent in a game like this? Oh, just excited so much. I mean, we got this, I mean, we're so, you know, it's so funny to, to, to have this rivalry going on and we're so close. We're ecstatic. <laughs> what have the conversations with Dallas been like this week? You know, I, I talked to Dallas. I said, Dallas, how much do you hate Michigan? He's like, you know, I really didn't hate them too much, but every time I see them now, I just think about all the pain that they put us through to try to win the game. Um, what do you what do you expect in a game like this? What are you expecting here today? Boys play really hard. They'll play really hard. They'll play intense and just excited about it and looking forward to, to giving it up to parents and having a great old time. All right, Rhonda, I'm going to ask you. First off, you've got a bedazzled Dallas Gantt jersey, yeah, and you said you have them in all colors? Yeah, I don't play the games. I've got black. <laughs> I've got white, you know, home away, all those things. Yeah. Do you have to do these yourself? Yeah, I do it all myself. And you've got the gold pants right there. I got. I, I hope to get another pair after today. <laughs> Yeah. What are the nerve? What are the nerves like for you uh, w when you're out watching him? I'm a mom, yeah. so my kid, the first play of the game, he's going to be out there. He's always out there the first play, I'm just looking for him, making sure he makes plays when he's out there, and it's all exciting. This whole thing, I've never been to this before, so this is exciting. Um, do you, when you have conversations with him throughout the week, what, kind of, what is, what are the conversations like? Are they about football? Or are they about life, or is you know it a split? What? I don't, I don't really talk to him about football. Sure. Everyone talks to him about football. <laughs> Everyone. We're at the mall on Thursday. Yeah. Everyone's talking about football. Yeah. I try not to. I try to talk about, oh, how's your grades? Did you have laundry? Yeah. Um, those are the kind of things I like to talk to him about. You're but a you're really a principal. Like of course, you'd ask about grades, right? Yeah, yeah of course. That, that's what you do. Yeah. Um, Kind of give me an idea. What has this atmosphere been like to be around? This and and you're not in Columbus. You're wearing no. Buckeye colors here. They were cussing at us over there. <laughs> I, I've just never been. Every game we go to that's away, it's like a home game. Ohio yeah. State. Uh, and I said today, it's not like a home game. It's like equal. And it's weird. And there's people yelling a lot. So it's, uh, it's, it's exciting. All right. I'm going to ask you. I, I think I know the answer to this. Mm. What, what, what's the prediction for today's game? Ooh, don't prediction wise. Mm. Uh oh, she's saying don't. She's saying don't do it. Go ahead. No, yeah, you can do it. You're, you're, go ahead. All right. <laughs> Ohio State by a lot. Michigan a little. All right, that's that's fair. You don't want you don't want to give uh, a prediction. I would just say trust the brotherhood. That's what I'd say. Okay. Trust the brotherhood. Thank you guys so much for doing right. this. Enjoy Thank the game. So much. Thanks. Thank you. All right, we're going to get it back to Mall Me, to Dale's Bar and Grill. That is where Emma Henderson is with a whole bunch of Buckeye fans. That's right, Jordan. And you know what else? It's pretty warm in here. We are enjoying our time here in the warm of the bar. So actually, I have Mary Anderson here with me. Now, you have been a part of the tradition here for quite some time. So how long have you been coming to Dale's as part of your Ohio State-Michigan rivalry game tradition? Oh, gosh. I am 23 years old, so about 23 years. <laughs> and uh, why is it so important here? What do you love about the atmosphere? Why do you think people 
people keep coming in for the game year after year? I may be biased, but um, it's my family's bar. The customers here have become family. You walk in by yourself and you leave knowing 20 people. Uh, you just come here and you make so many friends and the atmosphere is definitely number one. <laughs> Absolutely, and there's some pretty fun traditions here. In case you can't hear the music behind us, they've been playing the Ohio State Marching Band since we got here. Uh, and when Hang On Sloopy comes on, something a little bit special happens. So why don't you tell us you know, what we might see a little bit later? You might see me getting on the bar, um, me and a few other friends get on the bar and do a little dancing. So that's definitely a highlight of the day. <laughs> Always a fun tradition. So we're just going to walk back here. Thank you so much, Mary. Take a look at all of these Ohio State fans. So much scarlet and gray. We've got one Michigan fan back there, but he's wearing a jacket. He's kind of hiding. So I, I don't think he's really wanting to bring too much attention to himself at this time. Uh, but we've got some Bloody Marys going. We've got some breakfast food. And like I said, we've got some warm weather. So we're going to toss it right back to you, Jordan out there in Ann Arbor. All right, Emma, thanks so much. Sounds like a great time right now over at Dale's Bar and Grill. All right, we're taking another break. When we come back on The Rivalry, we will talk to Dave Holmes. You might know him from Toledo. We'll have him when we come back. Get huge Black Friday savings at DeRocher's. Skip the malls, the lines, the big box stores, and the hassle. Shop the lowest prices of the year on appliances throughout the store with the best service and selection around. Get this four-piece Whirlpool kitchen package for just $19.99 and this Whirlpool chest freezer for just $3.99. Plus, all washers and dryers are on sale now. Get huge Black Friday savings at DeRocher's. Don't miss it. You know who really loves fresh food? Amateur chefs, stay-at-home parents, salad lovers, barbecuers, smorgasbordgers, hors d'oeuvres, fondueurs, and flambeurs, oh, midnight snackers, brown baggers, bakers, and throw it in the microwavers. At Kroger, you can get all the fresh you want at a great price with delivery and free pickup because we believe in fresh for everyone. If you live in Ohio and you're eligible for Medicare, Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield can help you get a great plan at a great rate. Our Medicare Advantage plans pay for many of the costs original Medicare doesn't, so you can focus on other important decisions. Anthem plans help protect you from high medical costs. Included this year, an allowance for health items at Walmart. Plus, get dental coverage, vision benefits, prescription drug coverage, and access to over 15,000 fitness locations nationwide. Also included this year, choose an essential extras benefit to help you live a healthier, more comfortable life. If you live in one of the following counties, you can get a plan with $0 monthly premiums. Call now. The Medicare enrollment deadline for Ohio is December 7th. So call Anthem today at 1-888-265-1759 to learn more or to schedule an in-person meeting. PNC presents The Rivalry, sponsored by Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. Harbor, we are getting closer to kickoff for Michigan and Ohio State. This is The Rivalry. I've got Dave Holmes joining me now. He's from our sister station, 10 TV, down in Columbus. Uh, Dave, what has it been like this week? We have talked to some Buckeye fans out at tailgates this morning. They sounded nervous. Yeah. Is that is that a common theme right now? Well, this week it is. Okay, so you're on the 50th anniversary of 1969, that game where Michigan beat Ohio State. Yep. You have an 11-0 team. You have a first-year quarterback, a first-year head coach. You have all the narratives in Michigan's directed. Harbaugh's 0-4. He's desperate. There's a lot there. It almost reminds you of the Cooper era where you say, no, 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 we've seen the 11-0 team go against Michigan. We know how that story ends. So I think there's a little paranoia there. That said, the talent level, the disparity is so much on the side of the Buckeyes. I think they'll be okay today. But I've said all year, I'm more nervous about this one for Ohio State than last week against Penn State. To me, this was the scariest one on the schedule. We'll see if it lives up to it today. 
I asked Urban yesterday the difference between coming to play the game here and play the game in the shoe. What do you think the difference is between having this game in Ann Arbor as opposed to Columbus? Yeah, I mean, home field does matter. At the same time, I had a chance to talk to some of the players and Ryan Day at the hotel last night. It's galvanizing. It gets them together when they're on the road. I think they love the challenge coming up here. We've seen it get out of hand. We've seen some middle fingers fly and, and things like that <laughs> over the years. So I think it's more hostile when you come up here. I'm looking forward to the atmosphere. I think the atmosphere in the big house is awesome. I love the single bowl. I love the single tunnel, the banner, the whole thing, the fight song. So I love it up here. I think the players embrace the challenge. There are some middle fingers flying down in Columbus, too, when it's reversed. Oh, absolutely. You see, okay. I've I, seen, so I, I've I, seen I, that sign language all over. <laughs> yes. All right, so you've worked in Toledo. You've worked in Columbus. Yep. What is it like now every day being around it down in Columbus? Obsessive. Obsessive. When I worked in Toledo, it was, you know, split. Maybe leaned a little Ohio State at times or Michigan at yeah. times, depending on who was hot in the rivalry. But down there, it's obsessive. And I think Urban Meyer this week, he did a lot of this talking on, on his stuff on Fox. He talked about how much this game matters and the obsession. It is real. And, and Jim Trestle kind of started that. Urban took to another level. And Ryan Day, being an Urban protege now, has kept that going. So they are obsessed down in Columbus. The team's obsessed. The town's obsessed. They don't even know what it's like to lose to this team. No one on this team has lost to Michigan. They won seven in a row. The year that they lost was kind of the fickle lame duck year. They rattled off a bunch before that. So it's almost gotten to the point where they think it's their birthright to win this game to the point I don't know how Columbus will react if they actually lost this game today. That's interesting that you bring that up. Um, is there a scenario, though? I said this to Herb. I said, is there a scenario that you could see Michigan winning this football game and he said, well, of course, it's college football. And he, yeah. and, he, and he said the coach things. Yeah, yeah. Is there a scenario, though, that you see that would, that would lead Michigan to a victory here today? Yeah, I think the scenario last week where you give the ball up three times. I, I think Ohio State is so much more talented than every team in the Big Ten. It's probably Ohio State, Penn State, Michigan, I would say top three talent-wise. But if you give the ball up like you did last week, cough it up on the one-yard line like Justin Fields did, give it up two other times with Dobbins and Fields, yeah, I, I don't think you can afford three big mistakes today against this Michigan team. I honestly don't. All right, Dave, thank you so much. Enjoy the game, and yeah. uh, we really appreciate you stopping by. Hey, it's good to be back in Toledo. Absolutely. All right, that's Dave Holmes from 10TV down in Columbus. We are taking another break, and we're getting closer to kickoff. Stick with us here from Ann Arbor. This is The Rivalry. Christmas in the heart of activity is thousands of twinkling lights, free photos with Santa Claus, horse-drawn carriage rides, new memories and honored traditions, and all your shopping in one place. Join us at the Town Center at Levis Commons. I would like to discuss a difficult subject that most people don't want to talk about this time of the year. It's an illness that can affect the whole family, depression. If you or a loved one is experiencing anxiety, depression, or other difficult feeling, please think about making an appointment with a mental health professional as soon as possible. Think of it as a gift that could change your life because time waits for no one. Wow, look at all that snow out there. Good thing I had you go to TAS and get a remote starter for the car. Whoops. Guess who's going out and starting my car? Yes, dear. It's not too late. TAS Electronics has remote car starters from $199 installed, including bypass. Plus heated seats, just $149 installed. No one can stop the winter, but with TAS, you can have a nice warm vehicle waiting for you. TAS Electronics. You know. TAS Electronics. It's hot. It's your basement ready for the holidays. We had a horrible storm that flooded our basement. We had to take out that nasty moldy carpet. And we never want to have to go through that again. That's when we called Nature Stone. And with Russell's Promise, our true unconditional warranty, you will never have to replace your basement flooring again. For a limited time, get Nature Stone installed now and pay nothing until next year. Payments as low as $99 a month. No interest, no down payment. Schedule your free cost estimate easily online today. It's not just a floor. Wow, it's Nature Stone. Christmas in the heart of activity is thousands of twinkling lights, free photos with Santa Claus, horse-drawn carriage rides, new memories and honored traditions, and all your shopping in one place. Join us at the Town Center at Levis Commons. Welcome back to Ann Arbor as we get closer to kickoff between Michigan and Ohio State. It's been a fun morning so far. A little chill in the air like they're supposed to be in late November. Christy Copanis joins me now at the desk. And it's been a fun morning so far. Yes. There, there are people literally everywhere. Yeah, they never stop coming around. And they always are yelling OHIO or Go Blue. And I mean, just look at the masses of people yeah. around. 
and it's just going to get bigger and bigger as we get closer to this thing. There is something special about this game, and um, I, there was a na some national writer the other day was mentioning uh, something about being able to experience these rivalry games. I can't imagine other rivalry games feel like this. The way that this game feels, it's just it's just different. You're exactly right. It's different, and it's an unexplainable different. Yeah. It's one of those things where we cover a lot of football games, sure. and I still get chills. And it's one of those things where, why is it so big? It's just the atmosphere, and it's so cool. And until you're here, you just don't understand. There are a lot of Buckeye fans here in Ann oh, Arbor yeah. as well. Uh, just down the road from us, down at the on the Fox uh, pregame set is Urban Meyer, the former Ohio State coach. And I use this word, and I'm saying it endearingly. He was maniacal about this game. There's a huge crowd gathered around that set down there, but he really was passionate and put everything he had into beating Michigan. I talked to him yesterday about what this rivalry means. What are the emotions like the day before a game like this? Well, it's incredible because it's senior tackle at Ohio State. It's uh, Thanksgiving. You get to go see your families, most of the people in the, in the close vicinity. And then you're getting ready for the biggest game of the year, a game that, you know, as Woody Hayes used to say, if you lose it, you got to eat it for 365. So it's uh, incredible emotion. And, uh, you know, Friday is always a hard day, man, before this game. You yeah. just, you, you just, enough's enough. Let's go play. Uh, especially on a day like this, uh, when you're getting close to it, it's Michigan Ohio State Day. Do you miss it even more, maybe a little bit, because it is this time of year? Well, of course I miss it, but the respect I have for uh, this game and you know the fact Fox is here. I'm with Charles Woodson, who has always been a huge admirer of him, not just as a player but a person, and uh, I'm just glad I'm still part of it. You know, and that's something that will never leave me. Is there a scenario that you could see that would lead Michigan to pulling an upset here tomorrow? This rivalry game, of course. I mean, it's football. And it, the, the one thing you can never disrespect a football party, they have three NFL wide receivers. And they have, uh, it's going to be, this is a, a tough, tough place to play. I, I mean, the, the nastiness that, um, I said respect, but it's also nasty. And so, of course. And why, why would you not practice? And, and I think, you know, I'll do respect to you, but when someone says, is there any scenario, it's college football, two great programs, two bunch of great players all over that field and a bunch of good coaches. Of course, this is going to be a heck of a game. What is the difference playing this game here in Ann Arbor as opposed to playing it down in Columbus? Night and day. I mean, it's a home field advantage. Like I said, getting off that bus, I did it, I believe, what, three times, and you just uh, – the look in the people's eyes because this they love their their team and they should there's great great tradition here uh, great respect and uh they love their program they're go, you're going to see a fired up to and they're and they're playing very well right now that was my conversation with urban meyer from yesterday over on the fox set he is on the pregame show right now over on fox 36 actually stick with us though because we are going all the way up till noon getting you ready for kickoff of the big game and he's been so good on tv you can still hear the passion in his voice. He cares deeply he about loves this rivalry. It. It's cool to watch because to see him in that different setting, yeah. but still the fact that he loves it and the way he breaks down football, yeah. it, I love it. It's so good. Yeah, I learn something new uh, every single time you watch that pregame show. He's really, really good over there. All right, let's get it back to our downtown Toledo studio. Dan Cummins is back there, and there are a lot of Northwest Ohio ties and Southeast Michigan ties, not just on the football field, but off the football field as well, Dan. Yeah, you know, every year we've been doing this for about the last dozen years for a pregame show. We go up to Ann Arbor, we go down to Columbus and do stories on some of the local kids who play for the University Bands. Now, the University of Michigan Band, just 22 members back in 1896, the first year of that program, and now it's got a tradition of excellence with 400 students in the band. And just like the football team, they spend hours and hours of practice time to play their very best on game day. College football. The atmosphere is pretty special. Screaming crowd, and yes, the marching band. Every afternoon along Hoover Street in Ann Arbor, the practice begins. 90-minute sessions. Game day, they're up at 4 a.m. That's usually a 12-hour deal. Jacob Head is a junior from Onstead, majors in statistics, fell in love with trombone in sixth grade, and yep, he's always been in love with the Michigan Wolverines. For as long as I can remember, I've been watching Michigan football games. Pretty sure I had a Chad Henney jersey when I was really young. So uh, yeah, it's, it's quite an honor just to be able to come here and especially to be in the band. Summer Poppenhager from Monroe is a sophomore. 
earth and environmental science major. Played in the band in high school, but thought flag looked like fun. She's among 20 some on the squad, training for Saturday performances. Since I came here, I've definitely gotten into it a lot more. I always loved band in middle school and high school, and it just kind of all came together for me. Marcy Miller from Defiance, a freshman, competing and twirling ever since she can remember, wanted to get her degree in biochem pre-med. Michigan's the only school she considered trying out for, the twirling team, and she made it. There's a lot of late night studying and the hard part for me is being able to make myself do homework after a long practice because <laughs> that's rough some days. And game day, the energy, the crowd, that amps up even more when it's the game, Ohio State. My first pregame, I broke into tears <laughs> during the pregame because I was standing there and they play that, um, the, uh, the video right before the football team comes out. And I just got really emotional standing there, just realized how lucky I was to be in this program and to be in this university. And it was just incredible. Obviously we have the largest stadium in the United States. And so being here and getting to perform what I love to do for fans that love to see us here, it's incredible. Uh, you know, it's always a different energy on Ohio State Week just because of the nature of the rivalry. There are a lot of people from both Michigan and Ohio that root for either team. Obviously Ann Arbor is fairly close to the border still, so we got quite a lot of crossover and they call it the game for a reason. Mentioning the, the emotion of game day, uh, I've covered a lot of Ohio State Michigan games over the years and, and what they said was exactly right, the emotion. If you love people, you love college football and you love being in a big stadium like, well, you're going to have about between 110, 115,000 people today. It's when they when they start playing the bands and that emotion, the crowd wars, you, you, you just always tear up. It's just quite an emotional experience to be there. Well, let's go back to Ann Arbor. Jordan Strax up there with Christy Kapanis and, and just, uh, boy, the, the, it, we're building, we're getting closer to game time, guys. Absolutely, Dan. There's so much pageantry around college football, and as you mentioned, the, the band is is such a special part of this entire experience, and we can't wait for that and so much more. The fans have already begun to make their way inside the big house. We are going to take another break. They're filing in. There will be over 110,000 people packed inside there today, and we can't wait. We're taking another break. We'll have much more to come here from Ann Arbor on The Rivalry. Seventy-five years. Most companies call that quite an achievement. We don't. We just call it a great beginning. So we're giving you our biggest offer ever. Half off every wall side window, then take an extra $75 off every window when you pay cash. Or 72 months no interest with no down payment. That's six years. Don't delay. When our 75th year ends, so does this sale. Ends Tuesday, December 10th. Schedule today. If you live in Ohio and you're eligible for Medicare, Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield can help you get a great plan at a great rate. Our Medicare Advantage plans pay for many of the costs original Medicare doesn't, so you can focus on other important decisions. Anthem plans help protect you from high medical costs. Included this year, an allowance for health items at Walmart. Plus, get dental coverage, vision benefits, prescription drug coverage, and access to over 15,000 fitness locations nationwide. Also included this year, choose an essential extras benefit to help you live a healthier, more comfortable life. If you live in one of the following counties, you can get a plan with $0 monthly premiums. Call now. The Medicare enrollment deadline for Ohio is December 7th. So call Anthem today at 1-888-265-1759 to learn more or to schedule an in-person meeting. Unlock the magic of the season through a world of lights. Whether it's a new beginning or your family tradition. The anticipation. The thrill of lights. The magic of the holiday comes to life. Create new memories this holiday season with WTOL 11 and the Toledo Zoo. Lights before Christmas. 
tossing to Tyler's tailgate. All right, welcome back to Ann Arbor here on the rivalry, getting ready for Michigan and Ohio State. People piling into the stadium right now and they are walking up and down the streets here in Ann Arbor as we get closer to kickoff. They're also still out in the tailgate lot over at Pioneer High School and that is where we find our Tyler Paley. Awesome. Well, we are having a great time out here in the Pioneer lot. It's kitty corner to the stadium over there. And these guys are getting ready for the big game. Chris and Gabriel, you guys uh, wearing different apparel here, but yeah. somehow still friends, still OK. Yeah, we're good. We're all we're all friends here. So. <laughs> We'll see what happens after the game if we're still friends. Yeah, we'll ju just a few hours to find that out. You guys have a wicked tailgate going on. Can you show me and talk to me about a little bit about what you guys are cooking up out here? We're having a little chili cook-off this morning, and they will grill up some dogs later. But, yeah, we're having a little chili cook-off. It's a tradition for the last game of the season. So. Really? How long have you guys been doing this? Oh, as long as I can remember. Many, so, many years. Yeah, many, many years. We have our whole group of friends and family here that we all meet up together and have a good time. So, Chris, walk me through how important this game is. Obviously, far more than a rivalry, just a football game on the field. It's, it's deeply personal. So, but we still are. We're still friends. We got people from both sides here. So still friends so Gabriel I want to ask you because this is obviously hostile territory for you coming up to Ann Arbor yeah how cool is this to be able to still mingle with Michigan fans but once you head in it's all bets are off I and listen I haven't been to a college football game in seven years and so this is just like a the I've been gleaming from ear to ear just like hearing all the music and the bands and even though it's the wrong colors it's still a blessing and an awesome just to be in the experience so. before I let you guys go I need score predictions Chris oh boy uh, 38 28 Michigan. Wow, you're picking your team. All right. 217 bucks. I guess we will have to see you guys so much. Have a blast out there. Stay warm, stay safe. We're going to try to head back into the stadium in just a little bit. These guys are as well, getting stocked up on that food, staying warm out here. But for now, we'll send it back to you. All right, Tyler, thanks so much. The tailgating lots are absolutely packed and they are having fun here in Ann Arbor. We're going to take another break. When we come back, Christy's gonna give me food. No, if you're nice, peanut butter, chocolate, and the same name as the Ohio State thing, I got it right here. I can't wait. I'm taunting you. Let's go. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to wait for Furniture Row's Black Friday Super Sale. Get huge savings store-wide. And seven years, no interest financing. Plus, the more you buy, the more you save. But I was first in line. The Black Friday Super Sale at Furniture Row. At 1-800-Hanson's, Black Friday is the biggest sale of the year, and it only happens once a year. It starts now with up to 70% off the installation of our storm-resistant roofing that protects against ice backup and comes with a lifetime guarantee. Yes, you heard right up to 70 percent off and no payments and no interest till 2021 also get a free tablet whether you buy from us or anyone else the tablet is yours get it done you know who really loves fresh food amateur chefs stay-at-home parents salad lovers barbecuers smorgasbordgers or doers fondueurs and flambeers Midnight snackers, brown baggers, bakers, and throw it in the microwavers. At Kroger, you can get all the fresh you want at a great price with delivery and free pickup because we believe in fresh for everyone. For the first time, Dinosaur Adventure roars into Toledo December 7th and 8th at the Seagate Convention Center featuring 80 life-size dinosaurs and massive family fun. Experience the thrill of the prehistoric age featuring a 40-foot T-Rex, Triceratops, Velociraptor, and many more. Try your hands at a fossil dig, take a ride on a walking dinosaur, bounce around in the prehistoric playground, and many more dino-themed activities. December 7th and 8th at the Seagate Convention Center in Toledo. Get your discount tickets today at DinosaurAdventure.com. The Black Friday Super Sale at Denver Mattress is happening now. So take advantage of the season's best financing with seven years no interest. And find huge savings on Tempur-Pedic and Sealy mattress sets. But don't wait. The Black Friday Super Sale at Denver Mattress ends Monday. All right, welcome back to Ann Arbor. Michigan and Ohio State getting ready to kick this thing off for the rivalry. Christy Gopanis and I uh, are just sitting here. I'm, I'm kind of hungry. 
<laughs> I've had a granola bar all morning. Been up since like 5.30 a.m. And you keep staring at that Buckeye. Just keep staring at that Buckeye you got over on the table. You know, what, a, uh, what'd you do this week? I got to do something really cool. Go behind the scenes of Marsh's Buckeyes to see how they're made. And it's really cool it, to see how everything comes together. Yeah. It's really cool to get behind the scenes. How many Buckeyes do you think they make in a week? This week specifically. I couldn't even give you literally, I couldn't even give you an educated guess. I have no idea. Nothing, not even a guess. Uh, I, uh, a few thousand. Oh, a quarter of a million. Quarter of a million. Quarter of a million. I was close. Not even in the ballpark. Okay. okay. Take a look at behind the scenes of Marsh's Buckeyes on their busiest week of the year. <laughs> at Marsh's Buckeyes, they're cranking out over 70,000 Buckeyes a day ahead of Saturday's big game. It's their busiest week of the year, but they wouldn't have it any other way. Oh man, it's it's nuts. Uh, we start our production at 6.30 in the morning and go to about 6 o'clock at night. We're producing close to 70,000 Buckeyes a day. Uh, it is a madhouse around here right now. Even though these famous treats have the same name as the team in Scarlet and Gray, Michigan fans eat them too, just in their own special way. We have heard stories of, of uh, parties that they've had them and they smash them and eat them smashed. Uh, it is peanut butter and chocolate. Uh, a good a good portion of people enjoy the combination of peanut butter and chocolate and so from that standpoint they will eat them uh, but I'm sure this week there's less people from Michigan who are diehards that would even pick up a Buckeye. So let's see how these scrumptious treats are made. First, peanut butter and margarine mixed together with powdered sugar. That forms the foundation of the Buckeye. And boy, do they use a lot of ingredients. We go through about 1,140 pounds of powdered sugar. We do 316 pounds of margarine, 836 pounds of peanut butter, and just a small number of 650 pounds of chocolate. I love this, the conveyor belt. So, Jordan, you've been nice. So, I'm going to give you a Buckeye. I know you're hungry. I know. You're, okay. All one. right. He takes the other one. All right. So, uh, while he chows down on that, easy, easy. I know you. I'm really hungry. Okay. All right. Well, I may give him my other one too because I'm, <laughs> I'm nice. Uh, while you devour that, we're gonna take a break. Yeah. Thank we'll you. We'll be right back. back. <laughs> You know who really loves fresh food? Amateur chefs, stay-at-home parents, salad lovers, barbecuers, smorgasbordgers, or dervers, fondueurs, and flambeers, oh, midnight snackers, brown baggers, bakers, and throw it in the microwavers. At Kroger, you can get all the fresh you want at a great price with delivery and free pickup because we believe in fresh for everyone. If you live in Ohio and you're eligible for Medicare, Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield can help you get a great plan at a great rate. Our Medicare Advantage plans pay for many of the costs original Medicare doesn't, so you can focus on other important decisions. Anthem plans help protect you from high medical costs. Included this year, an allowance for health items at Walmart. Plus, get dental coverage, vision benefits, prescription drug coverage, and access to over 15,000 fitness locations nationwide. Also included this year, choose an essential extras benefit to help you live a healthier, more comfortable life. If you live in one of the following counties, you can get a plan with $0 monthly premiums. Call now. The Medicare enrollment deadline for Ohio is December 7th. So call Anthem today at 1-888-265-1759 to learn more or to schedule an in-person meeting. Hi, I'm Bruce Roth. And I'm Lisa Roth of Quality Overhead Door. Save a bundle with the Quality Bundle. It's our guaranteed lowest price on an insulated double garage door and LiftMaster opener. Everything is included for just $1,245, saving you $100. Nobody beats the Quality Bundle on a garage door and opener. Visit qualityoverheaddoor.com or call 419-578-8700 to schedule your appointment today. The Buckeyes. The Wolverines, one of college football's latest rivalries. 
from Ann Arbor, PNC presents The Rivalry. This is The Rivalry, and we are in Ann Arbor, and we have a big crew working on this show. Three hours of pregame coverage leading you up to kickoff at noon. We've got Dan Cummins and Kelly Hydebrader back in our downtown studio at WTO. Well, Tyler Paley has taken off, headed into the stadium for today's game. We've also got Emma Henderson in Maumee at Dale's Bar and Grill, and you know that's a hot spot if you're still in Northwest Ohio watching this game. Christy Gopanis and myself here at the desk, and Christy, I, I kind of keep getting a waft of tailgate food. I've now eaten a Buckeye. We got to get you some food. Somebody, <laughs> somebody's got to... Somebody's so gonna hear you. Someone's gonna hear you and deliver food to the set. You know that. That's kind of my plan here. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for taking my not so subtle hint. Sorry. <laughs> Subtlety. All right. Uh, let's get back to the football. Yes. Uh, not my stomach. Uh, for <laughs> Michigan, they know they've got their hands full here today. Justin Fields has been unbelievable for yes. Ohio State. Uh, they're gonna have to somehow find a way to try to slow him down if they want any chance in this thing. Oh, absolutely. No matter what he can beat you with his arm if he sees a hole he takes off and runs so it's not one of those things where you if you limit him to throwing he'll be okay no he will be okay no matter what you throw at him and even if they do try and stop Justin Fields he's got so many other weapons around him they will be good to go and he is in his first rivalry game it'll be interesting to see how he reacts in this thing the Michigan folks though they were talking about just how tough it will be to try to stop him Justin Fields is at a uh Tremendous year, um, you know, playing winning football at all times, and um, really athletic. Runs the ball extremely well. I mean, uh, gets a gets a lane, gets a throw. Uh, you know, he'll he'll make the throw, and um, also when there's a there's a lane, he'll he'll escape and and um, you know, do damage with you know, with himself running the football. He's a, he's also a, a great quarterback. You know, he, um, you can tell that he has a, a, a great gaps grasp on, um, you know, their scheme. You know, the the, uh, the type of plays they want to do, who they want to get the ball to. Um, you know, have a, a, a very good offense. So you know, we just got to do everything we can to slow him down and uh, play our ball. Michigan will certainly have their hands full with Justin Fields if they want to try to. Not have happened what happened last year. Dwayne Haskins was able to carve them up. They scored 62 points, the Buckeyes did, down in Columbus. The Michigan fans, the Michigan players, the Michigan coaches, they all remember it was an embarrassment last year down yeah. at Ohio State. And it was a feeling that they don't want to have again this year. Because yeah. be, you come into this game, there's so much hype. Everybody wants to leave there with a W. And then when you're not able to do that, it's something that you live for the entire year. Did you beat the other team? Yeah. And you want to be able to say yes, Michigan hasn't been able to say yes in a long time, and they want that to end here today. Yeah, absolutely. Urban Meyer talked about it. You live with this thing for 365 days, and that's exactly what Michigan has been going through. Uh, we just remember that score, and we remember going in there and, you know, preparing and, you know, not obviously not being happy with the end result. And that's just something you think about, you know, when you're training in the summer and you're training in January, getting ready for this opportunity, because uh, you know this game was going to come and it's going to come Saturday, and now it's, you know, going out there and remembering, you know, that feeling and, you know, trying not to duplicate that ever again. So Michigan will try to make sure that doesn't happen again on the Ohio State side. They're trying to uh, maybe run it up once again here on uh, the Michigan Wolverines. Ryan Day in his first rivalry game as the head coach. He understands that Michigan is playing maybe their best football of the year since the second half of that Penn State game. Michigan seems to have figured some things out, especially offensively, and Ryan Day knows it'll be tough. Well, and especially for Day, he follows in the footsteps of Urban Meyer, who has been so successful in this rivalry. Now it's his turn to kind of start his legacy. You wonder what the nerves are like for him as he's going into this one, but he's got a really good team behind him. But like you said, Michigan playing some of their best ball, so he's got a, he's got a tough task ahead. It's the halftime of the Penn State game. They've really uh, played good football, and uh, you know Patterson's throwing the ball well. The receivers are good. Collins, Peoples, Jones. Uh, I think their their tight ends are good. The offensive line did a really good job against Notre Dame, and you know they got a good scheme. They had a lot of good coaches there, so you know, they kind of found a rhythm in the second half of the season here. And so it'll probably be our biggest challenge again. You know, as we as we've gone on the season, I think we've been challenged more and more, and this will this will be the most talented group we've seen by far. 
So certainly Michigan has Ohio, or Ohio State has Michigan's attention. Michigan has Ohio State's attention uh, coming into this thing. We talked about there's just a different feel in the air when yes. you come to this game here in Ann Arbor. But that's all week. When you're in Ann Arbor, you're in Columbus, this rivalry has a different feel every single year. Yeah, and Ohio State doesn't say Michigan. They say the team up north. and They cross out the they M's. They cross out all the M's and yeah, all that good stuff. So it is definitely a different feel. And they're, they come to Ohio State or they come to Michigan for this. So it's just it's work mode. It's business time. They're ready to go to work. Uh, yeah, everything's different. Uh, but the big thing that strikes to me is preparation. Uh, you got to prepare harder than that team. You got to work harder than that team. And that all, st that all starts on practice, especially today and the start this week. Um, but yeah, pre preparation, uh, there's just so many things that take account to win this game. And uh, we beat them uh, with preparation in the past, and that's what showed the outcome of the game. So we are getting ready for kickoff. It has been so much fun so far. If you can't be here in Ann Arbor or if it's in Columbus, you can't be at the game, maybe the next best place yes. to be is Dale's Bar and Grill in Maumee. There's a nice picture of me hanging up in there. Humble brag. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Emma, Henderson, Emma Henderson is in Dale at Dale's in Maumee, and she's having a lot of fun. Hi, Emma. <laughs> I am. I've actually kind of been adopted by this family here. Now, this is Tim. I interviewed him last year, but he's really known as the Woody Hayes of Dales. And uh, last year, I had a concerned anchor text me and tell me, you know, that's not the real Woody Hayes, right? We know, but you're pretty much the real Woody Hayes here, right? Well, for one day a year, yeah. It's a special day and special guy, so try to uphold his image. Exactly. And I mean, he looks exactly like him. We're going to give you a pan shot to show you just how many of his family members are turning out here. This is a big tradition for them. Obviously, big Ohio State fans. So they are here. We're hanging out. We're having a great time. Nice and warm. I see you guys are a little chilly out there. And you know what else? We have an aspiring future cheerleader here. Now, how old are you? Four. She's four. And check out her outfit. She's got her cheerleading gear all on. And you, you do want to be a cheerleader when you get older, right, for Ohio State? Yeah. yeah. She already got the outfit. And so now we're going to take a look at the four Northwest Ohio people who actually have lived that dream and are now Ohio State cheerleaders. From Mommy, Holland, Perrysburg, and Finley, let's meet the Ohio State cheerleaders hailing from Northwest Ohio. First, we have Ashley Thomason. She's from Perrysburg, started cheerleading in the eighth grade, and is currently majoring in chemistry. She says it's taken some explaining to her Columbus friends about why the rivalry is so fierce. It's strange especially for my friends that are from Columbus to hear that we had Ohio State Michigan days at school. They're like, how in the world do you even have Michigan fans? But I mean, we are 20 minutes away from the border in Toledo. Next is Emily Gramza. From Mommy, she's a current health sciences major hoping to continue her academic career at Ohio State's dentistry school. She's always wanted to cheer for this school. It's been a huge dream of mine. My family was so excited when I made the team. Even my family that were, those that were Michigan fans were really excited for me, and they've actually been coming to games. Katie Kreinbrink is proud to represent Finley. She was a gymnast before cheering. She's an exercise science major, excited to see the atmosphere inside the big house. A lot of people talk about what it's like just with all of the history and the tradition going back with the rivalry. So I'm excited to just experience that and see what it's all about. Garrett Rainey is from Holland. He didn't start cheering until college, starting at UT, but transferring to Ohio State, where this is his first football season. Just walking out to like 105, 109,000 in the stadium, and it's just electric and it's super loud. It's the loudest atmosphere I've ever been in for a sporting event, and it's uh, it's really fun. And those are your Northwest Ohio cheerleaders. Not too bad to have four coming just from our area alone. Now that is just one role that some Northwest Ohio students have with this game. When you talk to me later, I'm going to give you. We have one who is doing one of the biggest traditions that you can possibly have at Ohio State. I'm going to toss it back to you, Jordan and Christy. Yeah, All right, Emma, thanks so much. Looking forward to that one, uh, the Ohio State band piece. You're going to love yes. that. With a Northwest Ohio twist, it's really cool, and he's going to get it to have that honor here in just a little bit right behind us inside the big house. All right, time for another break. 
stick with us. We've got much more to come, including my conversation in just a little bit with Charles Woodson. I would like to discuss a difficult subject that most people don't want to talk about this time of the year. It's an illness that can affect the whole family, depression. If you or a loved one is experiencing anxiety, depression, or other difficult feeling, please think about making an appointment with a mental health professional as soon as possible. Think of it as a gift that could change your life because time waits for no one. ABC Warehouse opens Saturday at 10 a.m. with some of the lowest prices ever. Get any size Sealy mattress at just 84 bucks each piece, even King, or a Samsung 50-inch 4K LED Smart TV for just $257 or less. ABC Warehouse, the closest thing to wholesale. If you're looking for a really special gift this holiday season, Inside Out has it. From top brand hot tubs to indoor recreation furniture, plus our lowest price of 2019 guarantee. Right now, a brand new 2020 luxury model five-person hot tub is just 95 a month. A top of the line four person hot tub is 69 a month. Hundreds of hot springs, Sundance and Viking spas are ready for immediate delivery. Make this holiday really special with a gift from inside out. Every child deserves to wake up to the magic of Christmas morning. Bring that magic to life by picking up a new unwrapped toy for children in foster care. Then drop off your gifts wherever you see one of these. Or simply go online, add to your cart, and ship directly to WTOL. Click it, ship it, gift it. One gift means the world to those who have so little. WTOL 11's Gift of Joy, sponsored by PNC. The Touchtone Awards honor the best of journalism and community service. Thank you for honoring WTOL 11 as the best in covering hard news, local sports, first alert weather, social media, and photojournalism. WTOL 11, Toledo's news leader. PNC presents The Rivalry, sponsored by Toledo Cardiology, because time waits for no one. All right, welcome back to Ann Arbor. We are less than an hour away from kickoff between Michigan and Ohio State. Chris Panis, Jordan Strack, taking you up to kickoff here until noon on WTOL 11. All right, let's get to our downtown studio. Kelly Heidrader and Dan Cummins are standing by and they get to have all the fun they're cooking, Christy. Yes, continue to make Jordan jealous. Oh, go ahead, guys. Love it. How about Love that? it. I know. I mean, we yeah. get the tough job. We're and eating a lot. They, are told, they told us to tailgate. So we are tailgating. I'm tailgating. We have a food fight going on. We want to say thank you so much to the Buckeye Wolverine Shop giving us these great totem poles. And our chefs are fighting for bragging rights and those totem poles. But first, We've had so much fun on a little rivalry on my Facebook page today. Yeah. I gotta show you this one. Okay, take a look at this. And I have to say it like Ricky Bobby, okay? So, <laughs> y'all liking this? Okay, dear sweet baby Jesus, we are all thankful that we are not Ohio State fans. Hello. Did you like that? Did you like that? Come on, yeah. man. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. There's nothing to do with my hands. These boys. Okay. I have Brandon Saba here from Bar 145. Hello. He is our chef. That we're, we're in the soup, the chili round. Okay? And Max from Mason Jar in okay. Lambertville. Food fight, head to head, our Ohio State chef, our Michigan chef. The score right now? Nine to nine. Is it? Nice. <laughs> You're supposed you to write these I, things down. You're the I'm sports no guy. Guys. I'm no math yeah. magician. <laughs> oh. Okay, the meteorologist and the other chef have to deal with this. The Michigan fans are the ones that keep score. How about that? <laughs> All right, Brandon, tell us about your dish. Uh, chicken tortilla soup. So um, you didn't tell me you were supposed to actually do a chili. So that is not true. I don't read that the emails. Not, that is not true. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we're going out of our lane, but we got a chicken that tortilla soup. Delicious. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Now yeah, what? fresh uh, fried tortilla strips, green bowl. onions, Ooh, black there's... beans. There's, yeah, I mean, everything you need in a good chicken tortilla soup. Mm -hmm. uh, again, Ooh. Chef Chris Denman wow. came up with the recipe for that. Mm -hmm. uh, we always make everything in-house, just like Mason Jar, their scratch kitchen. Monroe um, Street, right? Yeah, Where I can find you. absolutely. All right. right on, yeah, 5305 Monroe Ooh, Street. Ooh, I love that one. Hobby Lobby and Target. But, uh, so yeah, that's our, uh, that's our take on our uh, tailgate soup. All right, let's check out our Michigan chef. Max, Good job. I love your presentation here. Tell me about Thanks, your man. dish. Uh, this is a short rib chili. Uh, it's got three different kinds of chilies in there and a pineapple salsa Ooh. and blue corn tortilla chips. So that's your blue and gold right there. Wow. 
See, he's, he's going, going with a theme. He's yeah, going with a theme. Got, got if Brandon colors. ever read his emails, he would know. <laughs> I would have a color scheme. That you would have <laughs> colors. I, I but that is really good. My fancy Ohio State I color. I tell you. <laughs> yeah, attire. I see. You went all out. Thank you. But I'll tell you what. <laughs> and this, just a soup, because we have another thing to go. What's the next round, guys? Right, okay. You we're lead gonna, off. We're going to try at? this one. Give us uh, the next we one. We got ribs on this course. Uh, okay. We made a rib sandwich. I'm bring them in. Smoked garlic spread. Bring them in. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to try that. Well, yeah, can he's, you hold my he's fist? Got the Absolutely. Mason Blue going here. Yes, he needs a microphone over there, please. Could you give him a microphone, Dan, so he, they can everyone at home can, can, can hear Max? I don't know how to try this bad boy here. Really Let's give it a shot. Oh, you gotta dig in him. Oh great. my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, mom. Can we hold that for you? <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Take it on. Oh, Max, that is really good. Wow. What's the side dish here, Max? Uh, that's uh, curry cauliflower, and then we also paired it with M43. It's an IPA that's very popular okay. around here. And you're at the mason jar. <laughs> Your mouth is full. Give him a microphone so he can talk that's to us. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Excellent, man. Excellent. And the presentation. These guys, these restaurant yeah. guys know what they're doing, don't they? Yeah. All right, this one right here. This is Brandon's. <laughs> is there no cheating? Okay, they, there's some good family camaraderie around here. Just uh, reaching across the table. We're good with it. What do we have here, Brandon? This is our Jamaican jerk chicken. Um, so instead of ribs, we went chicken route. Um, boneless uh, chicken thighs. Okay. And what else is in the seasoning? Is that tried? Oh, I can't tell you everything. The recipes will be online, though, because I gave them to you. Oh, my God. I read that part of the email. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Kind of tangy. Yeah, it's a little bit of spice. I've again, for tailgate. Before. Yeah, the oh chicken thigh brings out that more, you get more of the gamey chicken taste than you would if wow. you went with the chicken breast. Delicious. So we go with chicken Gingery. thighs. There's something in there, ginger? And chicken thighs a little bit healthier for you too. Mm. So, As, Do we have to worry about being healthy at a tailgate party? <laughs> Not today. I mean, don't tell my super no. fitness weight loss challengers that, okay? <laughs> they can just work out later. The toughest thing is stopping <laughs> man for something, right? That's right, that's right. All right, we need to give them a score. It's tied nine right now. All right. I mean, this is tough. We have two more th rounds to go. Both, both dishes, all four are delicious. Are you nervous? A little bit. <laughs> I will give Max the edge here in presentation. Okay, so I love now. The presentation. Are we going to give him a score of six? It's amazing blue, yeah. Okay, so now it's 15 9. I know my math. How about that? I just added five. Six I'm no math magician, so I have no idea. <laughs> All right, next round, guys, we're going to go with burgers and a beverage. Correct. Right? Right. Bever I think we'll take the beverage. All right, all right. We're going to check right. that out in the next round. They're the burger bar. <gasps> I mean, I'm, Ooh, I'm it's ready, all right. man. It's all right. <laughs> They're talking smack. Yeah, we're used to it out here. We're going to just keep eating. All right. What do you say about that? We'll try to save you some, Jordan. I'm not really sure, but Christy, Jordan, I'll kind of, should we leave them a to-go box underneath their desk? Nope. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Back to you guys. <laughs> nope. Oh. <laughs> Kelly, thank you so much. Looks so good. I think we should bring the cooking show on the road. We can judge. You can get fed. It's a perfect world. Oh. That Next year, our bosses, I hope you're all watching and you heard that's a great idea. Great ideas, all up here. I like that. We'll keep you around. <laughs> all right, we're going to take another break. When we come back, my conversation with Fremont Ross grad and Michigan legend Charles Woodson. Stick with us. Jim White Honda is unwrapping Happy Honda Days early. It's our biggest sale of the year. With clearance prices on all of our best-selling models. Unwrap yours early because with clearance prices so low, the best selection won't last long. Drive Civic for a low $178 a month. Accord just $238 a month. Or an all-new CRV just $238 a month. Jim White Honda in Maumee is your destination for low payments, the best selection, and clearance prices on every Honda in stock. You don't want to miss this sale. You know who really loves fresh food? Amateur chefs, stay-at-home parents, salad lovers, barbecuers, smorgasbordgers, or dervers, fondueurs, and flambeers, midnight snackers, brown baggers, bakers, and throw it in the microwavers. At Kroger, you can get all the fresh you want at a great price with delivery and free pickup because we believe in fresh for everyone. If you live in Ohio and you're eligible for Medicare, Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield can help you get a great plan at a great rate. Our Medicare Advantage plans pay for many of the costs original Medicare doesn't, so you can focus on other important decisions. Anthem plans help protect you from high medical costs. 
included this year, an allowance for health items at Walmart. Plus, get dental coverage, vision benefits, prescription drug coverage, and access to over 15,000 fitness locations nationwide. Also included this year, choose an essential extras benefit to help you live a healthier, more comfortable life. If you live in one of the following counties, you can get a plan with $0 monthly premiums. Call now. The Medicare enrollment deadline for Ohio is December 7th. So call Anthem today at 1-888-265-1759 to learn more or to schedule an in-person meeting. PNC Bank presents The Rivalry. Sponsored by Jim White Honda. Dependable car, dependable dealer. All right, welcome back to Ann Arbor. As we get closer to kickoff, we are ready to get this thing underway. Just about. Just about. <laughs> almost, almost. Almost there. So just down the road from us is the Fox pregame show. I don't know if you noticed this, but there was no louder cheer from the Michigan fans than when they introduced Charles Woodson. Yes. Woodson. He is still a legend around these People parts. love him. A huge roar. It made me turn and look and stop and look, realize what was going on. So cool. Yeah, Heisman Trophy winner, played at Fremont Ross. Dan Cummins still tells a story about a game where he scored like six touchdowns yes. against Clay, and he was one of the most unstoppable high school players we've ever seen. Now he has transitioned into his post-football life, and he's on TV with the Fox pregame show, and he's done stuff for ESPN as well. I talked to him yesterday, and the first thing I asked about is his relationship with a guy sitting just to his left, Urban Meyer. What has your relationship been like with Urban, and what have what has this been like uh, for you guys to get to hang out a little bit throughout this season? Because I know on TV you can see that you guys are having fun with it. Well, this week all bets are off. You know, <laughs> this is all about the rivalry. So, you know, I'm being cordial for the camera, but when we get back to the trailer, I'm taking the gloves off. Have you? Is there a little smack talk between you two this week? No, man. I, like Coach said, man, it's it's uh, really mutual respect. Uh, respect what he's done over his career. Um, you know what he's been able to do in this rivalry. Um, so this this is this is great for us, really, to just be here, be a part of the game, talk about the game, our experiences in the game, and, and what we expect to see tomorrow. I mean, really, this is this is this is fun. I mean. You know, getting closer to the game, I think we'll both get a little bit antsy because we've been a part of it. Yeah. We, we know exactly what it's all about, um, but we'll have some fun with it. What are these players going through on the night before the game when it, it is so important? Well, man, you know what? To be honest, you put all your marbles into this game. Um, I, I, I think I've said it enough that, you know, we, we, we'll play a bunch of games leading up to this game. And, of course, you know, they all mean something. But this one is just a, it's, it's something different. And uh, all of the guys on both sides of, uh, of the field will be thinking about winning this game because, like Coach just said, if you lose it, then you got to eat it for 365. And we've, we've, I don't know, 365 times uh, 14 is what? It's, it's been a it's, while. It's, it's, a, it's a lot. So we've, <laughs> we've been eating a lot of what we don't want to eat for, you know, the last uh, 15 years. So um, it'll be a big deal if, if our side can get it done this year. I asked Urban this. It, what is the scenario that you see that would lead Michigan to pulling off an upset here tomorrow? The scenario is that you just got to go out there and not make many mistakes. I mean, to be real honest with you, um, go out there and execute whatever your game plan is, whatever they put forth um, for, the, for the team throughout the week to go out there and execute it. And if you do that, you don't make mistakes. Um, and you just play hard, tough football, you win the game. Who cares, huh? <laughs> All right, so good to talk to Charles Woodson. Nice to catch up with him, a Northwest Ohio legend, a Michigan legend. I think next year is the year he's eligible to go to the Hall of Fame. There is no question he will be a first ballot Hall of Famer, and he will have a bus in Canton. It's going to be really exciting, um, but always good to get his insight. He seems so cool. He, he was awesome. Very, very cool. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah, I talked to him before, uh, but yesterday, um, really cool, and he was excited to, to do the TV thing, and he said he was going to be trying to protect Urban Meyer a little bit because all these Michigan fans oh, are out here. Oh, they'll heck him. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> all right, we're taking another break. When we come back, we will head back to Dale's in Maumee, and you will hear the story of a Napoleon kid who's getting to live out a childhood dream inside this stadium in just a little bit. We'll be right back on The Rivalry.
Hurry to Value City Furniture for our biggest and best Black Friday sale ever. Now through Monday, get 20% off store-wide, no minimum purchase. Plus, for the first time ever, only $1 can get you the styles you want. Or enjoy 60 months special financing. And shop early for Black Friday doorbusters while they last. Get free ottomans when you buy select sectionals and many other doorbusters throughout the store and online. Don't miss our biggest and best sale ever, the Black Friday sale. Now through Monday at Value City Furniture. I love hearing the motor boom. I love the sound of coffee brewing. I love hearing my wind chimes. Ding, 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 ding. When you hit it right, it sounds beautiful. I love hearing my granddaughter tell me secrets. Hear the things you love hearing. Call Kenwood Hearing for your free consultation. I love you, Papa. At 1-800-HANSON'S, Black Friday is the biggest sale of the year, and it only happens once a year. It starts now with up to 70% off the installation of our warp and impact resistant siding that comes with a lifetime guarantee. Up to 70% off with no payments and no interest till 2021. Call 1-800-HANSON'S now and get a free tablet. Whether you buy from us or anyone else, the tablet is yours. Get it done. For the first time, Dinosaur Adventure roars into Toledo December 7th and 8th at the Seagate Convention Center featuring 80 life-size dinosaurs and massive family fun. Experience the thrill of the prehistoric age featuring a 40-foot T-Rex, Triceratops, Velociraptor, and many more. Try your hands at a fossil dig, take a ride on a walking dinosaur, bounce around in the prehistoric playground, and many more dino-themed activities. December 7th and 8th at the Seagate Convention Center in Toledo. Get your discount tickets today at DinosaurAdventure.com. All right, welcome back in. We are so close to getting this thing underway. Michigan and Ohio State, we are taking you up till noon. And then after that, you can flip over to Fox 36 and you can watch the ball game. Back in Maumee at Dale's Bar and Grill, there is a raucous crowd. They are going crazy over there. And that is where we find Emma Henderson. I can barely hear you, Emma. <laughs> That's right, we are ready to go. We've got some hang on sloopy going on at the bar. We just got done. And you know what? We are just getting started because, you know, it, the real fun happens here once the game starts and we're all watching the game together. So there's going to be a lot of music playing. A lot of us are going to be hanging out here, having a great time. I've only seen one Michigan fan here, so it really is truly an Ohio State bar. So. One cool thing that we also have that I've been telling them about is that we have a local eye daughter this year, one of the biggest traditions for the Ohio State Marching Band, and he comes right from Napoleon. Let's take a look. This year is much more meaningful to me as I get to dot the eye. Um, it's finally that time to live my dream and make it come true. Brett Wimpkin has dreamed of dotting the I in Script, Ohio since he was a child. Parents were both Ohio State alumni. They took me to a bunch of Buckeye football games growing up and stuff. And, you know, I, I enjoy them, but I don't think it was uh, quite my thing. And I think they could kind of tell. So they took a different approach and um, introduced me to the skull session and like, let me watch Script, Ohio. So he started playing tuba at a young age, wanting to be the one performing. Um, when it came time in fifth grade to pick instruments, I picked the tuba just so I could come here and get an early start um, to my hopeful I died in career. At the Ohio State Wisconsin game this year, that lifelong dream came true. Wimpkin stepped out in front of thousands of fans, showing pride in his Buckeye blood. It was surreal. Um, yeah, I, I still have goosebumps just thinking about it right now. But that was just practice for the biggest moment of his career in the band, dotting the I at the rivalry game. I mean, being from Northwest Ohio, the rival rivalry means that much more. Um, you know, you got a good mix of Michigan and Ohio State fans up there, so it's always nice to just kind of rub it in a little bit more. Um, especially for the Michigan game. I'm really excited to go up there and dot the eye in the big house. His family is making the trip up to Ann Arbor to see his lifelong dream come true in person. And just seeing all those people kind of come out and support me and you know that meant almost as much as just going out there and strutting and doing my thing. So I'm here 
with Bill Anderson. You are the owner of Dales and Mommy. How are you feeling on this game day? Oh, I feel great. I've been feeling great for the last 20 years at this rivalry, but not before then. And we have to be careful this year because Michigan's looking pretty good. But as someone who's kind of an expert having the big game on here, I want to know your prediction. What, what are you thinking is going to happen? Well, Michigan is playing a lot better. Uh, they beat up on Notre Dame pretty well. Uh, they played well against Penn State and then just been doing well ever since then. But the big difference is we have a chase. Okay, my prediction? Ohio State 42, Michigan 14. Oh, wow. That is a bold prediction. Ohio State 42, Michigan 14. But, I mean, as the host of the biggest party for Ohio State fans every Michigan game, he probably knows a thing or two. So we're going to toss it back to you guys out in Ann Arbor with that prediction of 42 to 14, Ohio State taking it. Go Bucks. All right, Emma, thanks so much. Listen. Phil wasn't gonna. He, he was biased. He's the biggest Buckeye fan there is. But hey, if he if he's gonna make a prediction like that, it might be similar to what happened a year ago. The other thing I want to touch on real quick, Chrissy. Yeah. Brett Weemkin, the kid from Napoleon, who gets to dot the eye today. He has done it before. But to do it, he and as he said, to do yeah. it inside this place, that's pretty cool. There's no bigger stage than this. Yeah. I mean, for him working so many years to get to this moment, I mean, I got to eighth grade band, so I have no <laughs> idea what that is. Uh, but this is going to be so cool for him and his family to do that in this game. All right. We're taking another break. The people are starting to flood inside Michigan Stadium, and there are a lot of them going into the big house right now. We're getting close to kickoff. Stick with us. We've got much more. When we return here in Ann Arbor on The Rivalry. We all strive to be amazing. Here at St. Luke's, amazing happens with every second we respond to strokes faster. With every life-changing spine and orthopedic surgery perfected, we seek out greatness for the times of your life and the loves of your life at the one hospital near you that is home to amazing. St. Luke's Hospital, amazing care for amazing you. You know who really loves fresh food? Amateur chefs, stay-at-home parents, salad lovers, barbecuers, smorgasbordgers, or dervers, fondueurs, and flambeers, oh, midnight snackers, brown baggers, bakers, and throw it in the microwavers. At Kroger, you can get all the fresh you want at a great price with delivery and free pickup because we believe in fresh for everyone. If you live in Ohio and you're eligible for Medicare, Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield can help you get a great plan at a great rate. Our Medicare Advantage plans pay for many of the costs original Medicare doesn't, so you can focus on other important decisions. Anthem plans help protect you from high medical costs. Included this year, an allowance for health items at Walmart. Plus get dental coverage, vision benefits, prescription drug coverage, and access to over 15,000 fitness locations nationwide. Also included this year, choose an essential extras benefit to help you live a healthier, more comfortable life. If you live in one of the following counties, you can get a plan with $0 monthly premiums. Call now. The Medicare enrollment deadline for Ohio is December 7th. So call Anthem today at 1-888-265-1759 to learn more or to schedule an in-person meeting. Going to get ready for this big game, you guys. We've got Eric here, clearly a Michigan fan, decked out in the, uh, I guess, camouflage yeah. Michigan Michigan pants. riches. That's pretty cool. Where'd you get those? Um, bought them about 25 years ago. Wow. Uh, a bunch of us were up here, met Keith Jackson, and when he saw us in them, he goes, whoa, Nelly. And uh, next week, we all got a pair, and we've been wearing them ever since. So, Have you been yeah. coming to this game for 25 years? I've been coming to Michigan football for 45 years. Wow. So this is maybe my 20th, 22nd Michigan-Ohio State game. You know, we've been asking people. Obviously, this is a, a huge game on the field, but this means a lot more than just a football contest. It, it's the rivalry. Um, you know, us Michigan fans, we miss that competitiveness that we have lacked in the last few years. So we're hoping we're back, and uh, we're hoping to come out with a victory today over the the team down south. Are you hoping that maybe some Ohio State fans sprinkled in here in your tailgate area might bring you some good luck? 
Uh, it comes and goes. We just saw them on the corners down the road, so we thought they might want some food, so we brought them along. A little bit of pity there. Yeah, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. You know, we're nice to everybody. Hey, Eric, before I let you go, score prediction. Uh, I'm going to say 28-24 Michigan. So kind of low scoring. Yeah. Defensive battle. Yeah. All right. Hey, have a great time. Stay warm and stay safe. Go we're going to send it back to you guys for now. All right, Tyler, thanks so much. Doing a great job out in the tailgate lots all morning lot uh, long over at Pioneer High School. Speaking of tailgating, we need some tailgating food, and that's where we get back to our downtown Toledo studios, the WTOL 11, and Kelly Heidritter and Dan Cummins hanging out in there all day. We've been tailgating outside uh, with sampling the food. Mason Jar brought their A game. Look at this layout out here with all the fun stuff. Even got some cornhole in the garage and some other games everybody's been enjoying. But let's work our way over this way because Whoa. we're going to continue our, our <laughs> chef challenge, mm. our, our uh, tailgating time. Tailgating time. Yes, and of course I Battling have. for the coveted trophies here. The food fight, the rivalry food fight. I've got Brandon, Brandon Saba from bar 145. Oh, and Max from Mason Jar. In Lambertville. Okay, now this round we have two more recipes, Dan. Right okay. now the score is 15 to 9 max. Michigan is ahead for this food fight. Brandon, you're behind uh, right uh, now. Uh, We're going to go for the slider. Let's give it a shot, right? Let's give it a real yeah. shot. We hope, right? Right. Well, tell me about your recipe. This is our turkey slider. Uh, we've already perfected the burger, so we went turkey style. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, pretzel bun. We got a uh, pesto cream cheese, tomato, mm. bib lettuce. Mm. Mm -hmm. Smoked Gouda cheese. I was waiting. I was giving you a second to take it all in. What do yeah. I got to do to get a napkin? Wow. Here? here you go. Impressive wiping out here. Again, I'll, gi <laughs> I'll, I'll give you Kelly's napkin. <laughs> nasty. All right. All right. What do you Chef have, Max? Max? That's fantastic. Uh, we have a burger, and we went with the blue and gold again. We got the double cheddar. We have the blue onions, uh, bacon that's been candied and also brown mm -hmm. and pep black peppered. I'm going to try this sauce. one. Very creative. Excellent. All right. Now, that, I'm just going to warn you right now. What? <laughs> that bacon is spicy. Is it really? I might have had a little taste earlier. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to put that down. Mmm. Mmm. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Wow. That is so good. I really love the topping on there. And take a look at the detail. All right. What's we have a here? drink, a beverage. Actually, this is Alex's oh. signature Bloody Mary. I'm going to let you. <laughs> so these are our Hail Marys. Mm. They use the same candied bacon. We use beef mm. jerky. We use pepperoncinis, fontina cheese, pepper jack cheese, blue cheese stuffed olives, grilled cheese, a lime, a lemon, a lime, a lime and then a pickle. They told me that once I tried these, they I told me that once back. I tried no these, I would never go that, back right? to any no other kind of Bloody Mary. That, right? Oh my gosh, these are fantastic. Can I sip these? Is that how do you right? Want, how do you On wanna, TV? I don't know. How do you want to judge these? I'm not ready yet. Yeah, those, <laughs> those are great. We have one more drink over here. Yep. Okay. Okay. So bag. the burgers and the beverage in this round. So. Oh, you have an actual bag. Yeah. Sweetwater Look at this. The brewery gave me this fancy bag. All right. We're not going to use all of it, okay. but my goodness. you always bring a little whiskey, a little bourbon yeah, to a party. Seconds, Brandon, all you better right. go. That's all right. Here we go. Wow. I'm, you know what? Okay. For the sake of good times, here uh -huh. you go. So score there's, is score There's is your blue and yellow. Oh, wow. Look, yeah. he's got it all. So this is our uh, sweet water mm -hmm. chocolate. Okay. Everybody's got to get a little of that. Okay. Right. Kind of smells like weed because they make it with hemp. So. Kind of does. But, okay. you know. <laughs> it's really strong. But here you go. And then we're going we're gonna to take a little uh, screwball whiskey, peanut okay. butter whiskey, and we're going to yeah. dump that in there because okay. this is a tailgating okay. party right here. Mm -hmm. All right. And now Easy to carry around. Holy cow. Catches a good time for you later. Oh. I guess so. I'm going to. If a anybody wants to make bad decisions, yeah. this will help. Yeah. Woo. There you can have the blue cup. I might not get in trouble. For cheers. Them. Oh, cheers. All right. Cheers. We won't tell All the right. station. All right. Cheers. We have to give you the score. What do you yeah, think? I think even Max would give <laughs> Brandon. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, right, yeah. Right. Brandon's a big fan. Yeah. Right. So we're tied now. We can do yeah, one thing. We're tied. We'll, we're we'll tied. We'll drink. Right. That's one thing. Fifteen all, all right. and more on that food fight coming up. <laughs> 
Jameson's Audio Video, locally owned and operated, delivers the finest home entertainment experience. Jameson's offers the full line of Sony TVs, including stunning OLEDs and the new state-of-the-art Master Series with competitive prices, system design, delivery, and professional installation available. Jameson's offers you the complete package. Come see the big picture at Jameson's with Sony, the leaders in TV technology. Hear, see, believe. Rallies has a pot roast melt for just $2.99. So good, you'll think they kidnapped your grandma. This tender pot roast is just like she used to make. Except Granny never put her pot roast on a sourdough bun. And she never stacked it high on a juicy burger with crispy onion tanglers and melted cheese. Sorry, Grandma. Looks like you lost this round. But you'd still school us at bingo. The new pot roast melt, just $2.99. Only at Rallies. Get Rallies delivered. More moments that matter. That's what families can expect with expert support from Hospice of Northwest Ohio. Our specialized care, including emotional and spiritual support, provides more comfort in body, mind, and spirit, and more contentment in the present. Plus, the way our team treats your loved one brings more dignity to each day. So experience more from the most experienced. Insist on Hospice of Northwest Ohio. Time is precious, and so is my team. That's why I choose the Buckeye and Wolverine Shop. Within minutes of entering the door, I see so many things I want. Ball caps, shirts, sweatshirts, socks, man cave signs, glassware, tailgating gear, gifts and novelties, so much to choose. I want it all. They even have University of Toledo and Notre Dame fans covered too. The Buckeye and Wolverine Shop, located inside Mason's Billiards and Barstools on Reynolds across from Kroger and Maumee. Your locally owned billiards and barstool pros for over 30 years. Well, it was all fun. Well, it was all fun and games the last time we were here, but now if you take a look, everyone is lining up to make sure they get their good spot to watch the game. All the seats that aren't facing the big TVs, those aren't really full, but the other ones, they are filling up. We're going to take a walk back here. There are quite a few fans here getting lined up, getting ready, getting their last beer before kickoff. I know. All right, we've got some fans over here. Can't even really weed through, there's so many people. Now we're going to come back here. Here's where we've got everyone who's ready and here for a meal, going to stick around for the entire game. Oh, look, there's Jordan on the wall up there. All right, we're going to toss. All right, well, we are going to go to a break, and then we'll be right back. I would like to discuss a difficult subject that most people don't want to talk about this time of the year. It's an illness that can affect the whole family, depression. If you or a loved one is experiencing anxiety, depression, or other difficult feeling, please think about making an appointment with a mental health professional as soon as possible. Think of it as a gift that could change your life because time waits for no one. If you live in Ohio and you're eligible for Medicare, Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield can help you get a great plan at a great rate. Our Medicare Advantage plans pay for many of the costs original Medicare doesn't, so you can focus on other important decisions. Anthem plans help protect you from high medical costs. Included this year, an allowance for health items at Walmart. Plus, get dental coverage, vision benefits, prescription drug coverage, and access to over 15,000 fitness locations nationwide. Also included this year, choose an essential extras benefit to help you live a healthier, more comfortable life. If you live in one of the following counties, you can get a plan with $0 monthly premiums. Call now. The Medicare enrollment deadline for Ohio is December 7th. So call Anthem today at 1-888-265-1759 to learn more or to schedule an in-person meeting. You know who really loves fresh food? Amateur chefs, stay-at-home parents, salad lovers, barbecuers, smorgasbordgers, or dervers, fondueurs, and flambeers, oh, midnight snackers, brown baggers, bakers, and throw it in the microwavers. At Kroger, you can get all the fresh you want at a great price with delivery and free pickup because we believe in fresh for everyone. 
PNC presents The Rivalry. Sponsored by Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. Welcome back to Ann Arbor. Christy, you can feel the anticipation building a look inside the big house. The players on the field getting warmed up. It should be a great day for football, and you can kind of feel the excitement building. Yeah, as each minute ticks by, the crowd gets bigger, the excitement, everything gets bigger and better as we lead up to noon. And as you see the players on the field, it kind of gets you even more engaged and ready to go, mm -hmm. excited for this football game. All right, so this game actually has some eerie similarities to back in 1969. Ohio State was number one in the country, coming off a blowout victory over Michigan the year prior. They then came up here to Ann Arbor, and Bo Schembechler led the Wolverines to an upset victory. Ed Kingerski from MGO Blue TV has more. November 22nd, 1969. One former player described it as an eerie, strange kind of day. There was something special simmering in the thick autumn air, hovering over the big house. The air was was electrified. It's the best football game I was ever part of in my entire life. Michigan took down Ohio State 24 to 12, the number one team in the country, the defending national champs, and a club that destroyed them the year before in Columbus 50 to 14. We were humiliated. We were embarrassed. Um, we wanted a chance to make amends. We. We desperately wanted that shot at Ohio State at home. I had revenge in my heart, so to speak. Tough word to say, but we want to if I did. <laughs> Let's put it that way. We got beat and then it got personal. Woody uh, would, would pick out certain things he would do to certain players and plays. And he tricked me a couple of times uh, in the game. And, and I knew he tricked me and it kind of pissed me off and I wanted to get back at him. Even the Michigan faithful were hopeful that uh, we weren't gonna be embarrassed, you know, that we could put up a good fight. The Wolverines gained certainty and poise throughout the campaign. And despite early season losses to Missouri and MSU, harnessed a belief in each other that carried them through the second half of the season. Confidence grew. And we thought we were getting better and better and better, and as it turns out, we were getting better and better and better. And it all manifested itself against the Buckeyes. It was just a feeling that you have, you know. It's, it's like, you know, if you're a golfer and you're standing over a putt and you say, oh, I can make that putt, and you make it. You just know that you're going to do it. We knew we were underdogs in everybody's mind but uh, we felt we could beat them and we just went out and just, just took it to them. We didn't look at them in awe and that they were couldn't be beat, blah, blah, blah. We just had so much confidence in ourselves at that time. I had every, every belief in the world that we were gonna win the game. And there it is, what has to be the upset of the century. So I got my revenge, personal, but I got it. In hindsight, the game had grand historical significance. Because of Bo's arrival and our winning that game, that, that kind of kick-started uh, the modern era of, of Michigan football. Things just changed from that Ohio State game. The Bo-Woody rivalry was on. The 100,000 sellout streaks get started. The bonds of that day and that season carry on to this day camaraderie, the friendship um, that uh, developed with the 69 team is something you'll never forget. We're more like brothers than, you know, teammates. The 1969 Wolverines, brothers, teammates, champions. For MGO Blue TV, I'm Ed Kingerski. So fun to look back at the historical contact, context of that game in 1969 that really started the 10-year war. Always cool to look back on some of the yeah. old teams. And eerily similar, could that happen today? And maybe today is the beginning of another run like we saw <laughs> back there with Woody and Bo. All right, let's get back to the studio in downtown Toledo. Uh, Kelly Hybrider and Dan Cummins standing by all morning and they have been cooking it up. It's the last time we're gonna talk to them today. Hi guys. <laughs> Hey, Jordan. Yeah, okay, here we are with uh, Brandon from Bar 145 and Max from uh, Mason Jar in Lambertville. 
And we're the final is dessert. I know. It's the score right now. Uh, we're tied, right? Yeah, 15. All right, Max, lead us off here. What do we have here? Uh, we have grilled Kentucky butter cake with a blueberry compote and a little I'm bit digging of in. I can't help it. And the whiskey whipped cream. <laughs> oh, whiskey whipped Whoa. cream. Mm -hmm. You notice there's a theme here this morning, mm -hmm. a lot of alcohol. Oh. oh. You said tailgate. <laughs> Oh, wow. oh. Mm. all right, Brandon, that was fantastic. Of course, totally fantastic. Michigan theme. This looks like a Buckeye theme. This is Buckeye pie. Uh oh. Oreo crust, mm. uh, peanut butter filling, chocolate ganache on top. Oh, 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 oh. oh man. Powdered Darn sugar. Christy, sorry. Mm. Not really. You know. wow. <laughs> they say bigger is always better, but I'll let you be the judge. I can't even say. Say anything is that rich. <laughs> what well, one thing I want to say is we appreciate the time you guys have spent in doing this. Uh, you came down here earlier this morning, a lot of preparation. Oh, it's so fantastic. You really took this to heart. You really competed today. Oh, I thought it was fun. He's yeah. got, that dude's got talent. You know, the, the, the thing about food is that it brings everybody together, and no matter what happens at the end of it, like, it, you know, you build a friendship today, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. so like that's Absolutely. all that matters. And it, it, it's good camaraderie, it's good food, and that's what everybody wants to go out for, and that's what everybody wants to do is eat. They want good food, they want good service, so we're both providing right. both Right, and of I think that, that's so. what the tailgate is all about in general. No matter yeah, who wins absolutely. the rivalry yeah, game Max today. Yeah, Max, has been right? a lot of fun. We've really enjoyed our time with exactly. you. You, you, you and your crew that. just brought all the stops with a tailgate set up. Right. Right. What's that? All right, we've got an all assignment right, here. Fine. Yeah, she's going to try fine. <laughs> Max, you need to try yeah, some. I was looking at it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're all Cheers, friends buddy. here. Yeah, right, here we, we have a mutual admiration society here. Absolutely. All right, all right. So we got to decide. That's good. Oh, okay. I'll be That's honest. Let, let, let's kind of go backwards a little bit. So yep. in the first round, we had chicken wings. Yep. And they were fantastic. Brandon won that one. You weren't with me, but I gave it to Brandon because they were so good and glazy. They were fantastic. The weather. And no, I, I used to do the sports. <laughs> and the second round, where we had potatoes, loaded potatoes by Bar from 145. You had more of a what croquette. Would, croquette. Yep. That was the winner. And the burgers and so forth, we had, it's been tight the whole yeah, way. tight the whole game. I will, I will say this. These guys really brought their A game today. Yeah. They really provided us with some terrific snacks. I will say. Drum roll, please. We get a tie. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 18 all. Is go. that what you're saying? 15, Actually, 15? this one. You can have that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Well, well done. Congrats. Well Hold done, up your guys. trophies, guys. Right. Thank like you to the Congratulations to all. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. No. No. Losers in the food Except fight. Except for maybe at about 4:30. Back Jordan, to you guys. back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, thanks. No, no losers in this one. The only losers were us because we didn't get any of that delicious food. We didn't. I, 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 yeah, I mean, you guys could just leave a little, maybe down in the yeah. fridge, down the hall, at work. A, a to-go box. Yeah, we'll, we'll be there eventually. Perfect. Yeah, eventually. <laughs> All right, we are getting so close to getting this thing going. Kickoff is just a few moments away. We will wrap things up and get you ready for Michigan in Ohio State right after this. Jim White Honda is unwrapping Happy Honda Days early. It's our biggest sale of the year. With clearance prices on all of our best-selling models. Unwrap yours early because with clearance prices so low, the best selection won't last long. Drive Civic for a low $178 a month. Accord, just $238 a month. Or an all-new CRV, just $238 a month. Jim White Honda in Maumee is your destination for low payments, the best selection, and clearance prices on every Honda in stock. You don't want to miss this sale. Get your garage ready for the holidays. For a limited time, get Nature Stone installed now and pay nothing until next year. Payments as low as $99 a month. No interest, no down payment. Schedule your free cost estimate easily online today. It's not just a floor. Wow, it's Nature Stone. You know who really loves fresh food? Amateur chefs. Stay-at-home parents. Salad lovers. Barbecuers. Smorgasbordgers. Or dervers. Fondueurs and flambeers, oh, midnight snackers, brown baggers, bakers, and throw it in the microwavers. At Kroger, you can get all the fresh you want at a great price with delivery and free pickup because we believe in fresh for everyone. Thank you, Toledo, for voting Appliance Center the best furniture store again and again and again. 
See the area's best selection and guaranteed lowest prices on over 200 of the top brands, including flex steel sofas, sectionals, recliners, accessories, and more. Plus, free financing on all flex steel living room, bedroom, and dining room furniture this week. 5656 Monroe Street or 321 Illinois Avenue in Maumee. Call us today at 419 Payless or shopac.com. The fetal heart rate had dropped to a dangerous level, causing a lack of oxygen to the child's brain. A C-section would have prevented the child's cerebral palsy. Discover the truth. Call 1-800-ELK-OHIO. Elk and Elk, experienced in birth injury cases. PNC Bank presents The Rivalry. Sponsored by Jim White Honda. Dependable car, dependable dealer. Welcome back in. We are just five minutes from noon and we are getting set. Jordan, we got an update on the injury report for both Ohio State and Michigan. I'm going to let you take that one. Yeah, absolutely. Our injury report brought to you by Toledo Cardiology Consultants. So the big question for the Buckeyes, will Sean Wade be able to play one of their safeties? He was a game time decision today. Unfortunately, the Lipset grad offensive lineman Gavin Cup is not available. He is out along with Cameron Babb, CJ Saunders, Taryn Vincent along with a couple others out for Ohio State. On the other side for Michigan, their big question mark, will Brad Hawkins be able to play at safety? It sounds like Daxton Hill will probably get that start in his spot. And of course, Andrew Stuber and Josh Ross both out for the season for Michigan. For our keys to victory today, let's get it back to the studio and Dan Cummins. Thanks, Jordan. Now, this is number 10 ranked Michigan home today against number one ranked Ohio State. Here are the keys to victory. Jim White Honda keys of the game. Do what you do for Ohio State. Do what you do. Keep, keep the offense rolling and get Chase Young involved in the game. Make Michigan one-dimensional. They have a great passing attack. If they can't do that, they really can't run that effectively. You need both to be able to function. And get J.K. Dobbins going early. The Buckeyes need to get the running game going because once you run the, the chains, keep them moving up, you start scoring some points, and you keep Michigan's defense tired and Ohio State, Michigan's uh, offense off the field. Now we go with the Michigan keys to victory. Control Chase Young, that's an obvious thing. Number two out there, the best player in the game. Don't beat yourself. Turnovers, like we saw the Buckeyes last week with three turnovers against Penn State, that almost beat them. And give yourself a shot late. A home game, if the game's close, anything can happen. And Jordan and Christy, anything can happen in a, in a rivalry game like this. One thing's for sure, both teams will be ready to play. There will be no complacency, nobody off their game today. It's going to be fantastic. Absolutely, Dan. Thanks so much. You can hear behind us right now, Michigan is about to hit the field. They are about to hit that MGO Blue banner. It is ready. It is here. Mm -hmm. We're going to head inside in yep. just a moment. It's what we've been leading up to all week. The last three hours, it's finally here. Moments away, the big game. Absolutely. It is Michigan. It is Ohio State. The Buckeyes trying to make it eight straight. Michigan trying to end seven years of heartbreak. Flip over to Fox 36 right now to watch the game. Thanks so much for watching the rivalry here from Ann Arbor. Every child deserves to wake up to the magic of Christmas morning. Bring that magic to life by picking up a new unwrapped toy for children in foster care. Then drop off your gifts wherever you see one of these. Or simply go online, add to your cart, and ship directly to WTOL. Click it, ship it, gift it. One gift means the world to those who have so little. WTOL 11's Gift of Joy, sponsored by PNC. When I was growing up, I believed in a better future. All rise. So I became a judge. Your honor. We pursue the truth no matter where it leads us. Do what's right. That's what you tell me to do. This should be fun. We are on the same team, going for the same goal, justice. You're going to be one of those creative judges. I love her. I love her. We still have a lot of work to do. All rise, Monday at 9, 8 central on CBS. At 1-800-HANSON'S, Black Friday is the biggest sale of the year, and it only happens once a year. It starts now with up to 70% off the installation of our famous triple-pane windows that come with a lifetime guarantee. Up to 70% off with no payments and no interest till 2021. Call 1-800-HANSON'S now and get a free tablet. Whether you buy from us or anyone else, the tablet is yours. Call 1-800-HANSON'S. Get it done. 
for the first time, Dinosaur Adventure roars into Toledo December 7th and 8th at the Seagate Convention Center featuring 80 life-size dinosaurs and massive family fun. Experience the thrill of the prehistoric age featuring a 40-foot T-Rex, Triceratops, Velociraptor, and many more. Try your hands at a fossil dig. Take a ride on a walk.